What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're doing the Let's Play Sorceress guided playthrough. This is going to be a sorceress from normal through to hell, and I'm going to talk about everything along the way so that you can follow along um, and hopefully complete the game all by yourself, which is super fun. It's a fantastic game. I think this is something that so many people, even people who have played for hundreds or thousands of hours, have never done which is open up single player and on their own beat the game from normal to hell, right? It's kind of like crazy to think that this isn't uh, done by a lot of people, but it's not. It's, it's really just something that is um, this unique experience. So many people just played Battle.net and got rushed there or whatever it is. So if you're ready, buckle in and let's get going. So the first thing that we do, of course, when we start this character up, is we want to look at the character itself. And I have a handy dandy image, shaboink, right here that's going to kind of talk through. So you'll notice that she has low deck, low strength, low vitality, high dexterity, and very high energy. Um, generally, this is going to be a worse starting stats for a character. Dexterity, we really could care less about on her. So that kind of stinks. Um, energy being high is great because we actually do enjoy the mana. Uh, and and the, um, yeah, just having that. Vitality at 10, strength at 10, both of those pretty weak, kind of stink. Um, low starting hit points, of course. And uh, if we take a look, kind of stat per effect, two life. So characters gain life differently for every vitality point. Two is the lowest, four is the highest, four being Barbarian, of course. Um, so Sorceress is one of the lowest gainers, and uh, she gets two mana for every point in energy, though, which is the highest. Um, so points in energy, especially early on while we're leveling, can be quite good, giving us additional mana if we're having issues with that. Points in vitality, unfortunately not going to be great, but we're still going to try and get as much of that as we can because, you know, life is important. And then, of course, each character level, her gain for life is low there and good mana. So she's going to have a lot of mana, basically, by the end. Um, let's look at the breakpoints for the character. You can see that she's got uh, not the best FHR frames there. So we're definitely going to want to try and get some FHR, right? If we can get up to 20 30%, that's a pretty big difference for us. We can save like five frames getting hit. Um, so, you know, anytime you find a 12 to hit recovery grand charm or 24 on a belt or something like that, that can be pretty substantial for this character. Um, the FCR, we're going to try and get to the 37 breakpoint and then eventually the 63 breakpoint if possible. So for that, we're going to have to find a couple of FCR jewelry pieces or some mage fist or trangs gloves or something of that sort. But 37 will be that first kind of goal as we're going out. And then the 63. And that's actually a pretty big deal getting to at least one of those. And especially like 63. Because when you're teleporting around, the chance to teleport past something before it hits you goes up substantially. Like from 20 to 37, your chances increase a lot. 37 to 63, they increase a lot. And then 63 to 105... Not a lot of stuff is catching you at 105, but we're probably not going to get to 105 in this um, run. And then block rate, uh, we're not going to be focusing on that, really. Uh, she's not great with her block frames, but, you know, it's okay. Not not the best, not the worst. Um, so, you know, we don't focus too much on any of that stuff, though. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and start the character. First thing we're going to do is, of course, complete the Den of Evil. evil do you need to be right on the breakpoint? You just need to be past the breakpoint. So that's a very good question. Um, is just get past it. But once you're past it, no additional stuff is going to benefit you at all. So you have to remember that. Like, I'm not going to get any benefit if I go, if I'm where, if I have 38 or 37 FCR or 62 FCR. I'm going to literally teleport and cast stuff just as fast. It will be the same exact speed.
So that is a good question, but something to something to definitely notice, right? We we want when we focus on these breakpoints, they are that they are a breakpoint that you want to hit, and then anything beyond it is irrelevant until the next breakpoint. I did Rokat. That looks cool. Yeah, Poe's got the 3.9. Hardcore Solo Self Found League kind of race thing going on. We are going to participate in that. I hope you guys are ready for some PoE this December. That is going to be fun. So the first skill I'm going to grab, it's going to be Charge Bolt. You can, this is my recommendations for, for normal, okay? First skills. Either start in Lightning and start with Charge Bolt and then work your way to like Nova on a respec or something. Or start in Fire and you can do fireballs or firebolts into fireballs and then if you want eventually into meteor and you can just kind of stick in that fire tree for a while okay so one of those two i do not recommend cold and the reason being is cold is just not good starting out frost nova is great for a safety skill but it's not great damage um Turn back. Ice Blast is not great damage and it's very high mana cost. It's okay and it, it works early, but then like you kind of run out of stuff to really use it on. Glacial Spike takes a while to get to and it's okay damage, but it's like it's not till Blizzard really hits that you're able to do a lot. So I always just say, ah, you know what? Just hold off and uh, and then you can switch into cold later and in this i will actually switch into cold later when we when we want to and when we can basically um but i'm not going to start on it by the way this is the best boss group that you can find right here i'm very sad i'm gonna go get some mana potions oh man i have like no gold oh geez uh all right we'll sell that and we'll sell <laughs> We'll get two mana potions. This is the best boss group. These guys give so much experience. So I'm going to go ahead and get my charge bolts going. And try to kill... Because I'm low on mana potions, I'm going to try and kill this boss here. First. Or focus him a little bit. So that I can get what I was hoping would be mana potions from him, but unfortunately that did not work out. But you can see I pretty much got an entire level, if not a little more, just from that boss. Also check for shrines around here, because shrines right next to this waypoint can be really good for your Den of Evil or for going back later whenever you want. So we're gonna go ahead and head into the Den of Evil. Get mana potions if you can. Unfortunately, I have no mana basically, because I have very little gold. Um, so I'm just going to be kind of winging it, hoping I get some mana potions in here and using my staff to take some guys down. <laughs> Lots of health potions dropping for us. And we don't have any stamina potions either, so fortunately there. So the first things that I'm going to do in terms of um, using my stats is I'm just going to be focusing on vitality. The big reason is because I need to get some life early. Life is a two-parter, and there we go, we got that. Life is a two-parter in this game. So the first thing about life that's really nice about it is it's harder for you to die if you have more life, right? Easy enough. The second thing about life that's really important is with more life, your chance of getting put into hit recovery goes down, right? So a monster can't put me into a hit recovery where I have to go and recover and then get back if I have a lot of life. So stacking that up early is almost more important than anything else because then I don't have to worry, like I said, about getting put into hit recovery right there, you know, because now I can keep running and that will help save you a lot. Highly, highly recommended. We'll just keep going through here. And just make sure you check all the nooks and crannies and stuff or you'll have to run around. Easy as that. Lightning Sorka Riot. Yeah, so we'll start with lightning. This is generally the like thought of the characters. And you can play these characters how you would like. If you want, I'm gonna actually go up here if there's a shaman up here. Yeah, there is. 
If you want to play this game, thank you, Rock Taze, um, with fire or light early, and then, like, those are both good starters. So you can get through normal pretty easily with either one of them. Um, through nightmare, cold is probably the best. You can also use some lightning early, and then fire you can also get yourself through. Through hell, you're going to either dual spec, run pure cold with some kind of dual spec or a mercenary. And I wouldn't recommend using lightning early on. Or, or yeah, like early on in endgame until you start to get some gear because it just ends up not being that good. But it is possible. If you watch my Rainbow Sorceress run, you'll see that like I use that and it ends up being fine. So it's still definitely possible and something you can use. Um, but not my ultimate recommendation. This cave First, if you want to, you know, beat the game strongly. But yeah, lightning has a lot of gear intensive stuff. This sort guide is brought to you by the half hidden Cheerios behind the towel holder. Please support Llama with his Cheerios sponsorship by heading to the store for your own. It's not, Purchase today. No, no Cheerios sponsorship. So we're going to stock up on stamina, mana potions, and then I'm going to be getting, uh, have at least one TP scroll available to you. If you can get a book, get a book, whatever. But I want to have a good number of mana and uh, stamina potions. I'm just going to keep going charge bolt and vitality, and we'll just keep going that for a couple levels. And then, of course, if I ever want to, I can just reset the game really quick. Check my cold planes. And maybe I get a good shrine, right? You can get experience shrines, which are the best shrines. Skill shrines can be really nice. But even something like a mana regen shrine can be nice. So, don't, uh, you know, don't, don't hate on it too much. Also, if you do want to get some health potions, you can. Um, I'm running without them because I feel a little more confident. But it can be helpful, especially if you feel like you're going to take some damage. Uh, one thing to note, there are some like little, I've, I've got a basics Diablo 2 video. I'll always pick up every like Eagle Orb, by the way, because you might get one that's got, you know, some sort of plus to charge bolt or something. Um, but you can shift click potions into your belt. So if I hit press shift and click on it, that goes into my belt. That'll be really helpful this run. Um, there's a lot of little tips like that. Like I say, I have a... Uh, Diablo 2 for newbies guide video on my YouTube though that that'll be helpful with all of that I always pick up amulets and rings as well uh, one they can have good res or whatever stuff like that on it but we are looking for FCR that is the biggest thing in the game for this character is having good faster cast rate there's an experience shrine and we'll take this and just use it on uh, Rakanishu over here Stick close to the path, and you can find Rakanishu. He's always going to be slightly off the path. Now, one thing you'll notice that I do is I hover over a unique boss. Whenever I see a boss group, first off, I always want to kill it because that is 500% experience, which is fantastic. 500%, you guys. So I can waste my time killing five times as many monsters elsewhere, or I can kill a boss group. Um, so you want to hover over and see what they are. This one is lightning enchanted, which is kind of tough. So especially for a lightning enchanted sorceress, lightning enchanted monsters do a lot of damage, can be rough. So I'm either going to use my fireball skill that I have for my staff still on her, or I'm just going to ignore her and kill her minions. We'll have to kind of see how things play out. Now, once again, it doesn't mean you never kill anything else. But you can see I'm just saying, all right, I will do this. And I'm also going to try and avoid her bolts a little more. And stand over here. So there you can see my hit recovery starting to have a little bit of effect. But now that we've cleared her out, we can just go after her minions. So cold enchanted, lightning enchanted, cursed are, are pretty rough. And that's also a big reason I was checking the boss group was to see, was it a cursed group? Because I have this experience shrine. For instance, that is a cursed monster. Right on cue, thank you for following the script. 
Um, and if he would have hit me, I would have lost my experience shrine. So it's important that I checked that and then avoided him and killed him before he could. And again, we have Rakanishu here, and we're going to use our fireball skill to take him out because it is very difficult to kill Rakanishu otherwise. So, if we want to save Kane, we can just leave a TP right here and then come back to it. Assuming we have enough potions, which it looks like we do. This is another great reason that it's super helpful to uh, do that. Was there a rare shirt that dropped? Might not have picked it up for armor. I don't always pick up everything because sometimes I'm just used to like speedrunning where I'm not picking up all these items. We'll keep going into Charge Bolt. At this point, level 6, if you would like, you can totally get, like, Frost Nova. 100% you can get Frost Nova right now. Um, reason being, you can just cast it whenever you're in a tough situation. Like, right here, I could be like, oh, these guys are scary. Frost Nova, they all slow down, and then I can work at them. Um, I like continuing Charge Bolt for the increased damage, but... I recognize, once again, that not everybody playing through is a speedrunner who has thousands of hours in this game, and sometimes just having something like Frost Nova can be very helpful. So we're just kind of killing some things as we go through, and we're in the dark wood. Beautiful. Rare shirt. No, it said Tulsa on it. Definitely not rare. Thank you. We will continue with the uh, vitality points as well, and then just using our stamina potions. And once again, every time that I come upon a boss group, I'm killing the boss and his minions, because like I said, both of them are gonna give 500% experience. Champions give 300% experience, by the way, just as a FYI. Where did I read about it? D4 exclamation mark, D4 update. So now I'm going to go look for the tree. Perfect. Now we've got tree head over here. So he can be kind of dangerous. Definitely be careful. You're going to have to kite him a little bit. And when he hits you, you're going to go into hit recovery. Um, so just try and kite him like that is the best best that I can say. You're going to take some hits and some damage from him. Pretty uh, unable to deal with that. So we'll grab that. And then we'll just keep going forward until we find a waypoint when we can go back to uh, go to the stony field. Another experience shrine, very nice. And there we go. So we also have another shrine next to another waypoint, which means in the future, if we want to check for more shrines, we can also check there again. Oh, there is that armor. Oh no, I have to... Uh... You gotta talk to Akara first to change the scroll of Inifus. I always forget this, into the key to the Karen stones so it's actually a separate item and just click the order easy as that and I don't have any TPs but that's fine I'm just going to be putting out and going back to my further ahead point thank you slap we'll save Kane we'll come over here we'll kill some baddies Strangling gas potions can also be decent to use right now, by the way. So if you find some, you can totally decide to use that. And I'll grab this short staff as well. Now there's going to be another boss group down here somewhere. I'll want to kill that. I don't really care about killing uh, Griswold just because he's a single dude. And so like, I'm really much more focused on killing bosses that have a bunch of minions for all the experience. He's not quite worth, usually, the time investment. But if you want to kill him, you totally can. I just don't feel like investing all the time. And I'll just do more Charge Bolt and more Strength. And we'll go ahead and grab Wurt's Leg for Cows later. And then we'll quit out and rejoin. So now I need to go ahead and get some room for stuff. And here's one of the beauties of this character. Um, is I can go ahead and uh, eh, three to mana if I want I can keep that I can look for getting plus to charge bolt stabs maybe if they've got like plus energy as well that could be really helpful right now this is ethereal 
Um, the thing about Ethereal is I'm not going to be caring because it only loses durability on swing. And I'm not going to be swinging with the staff anymore, right? Everything is going to be just damage that I shoot. So here's where you can definitely just go through and you could say, hmm, can I find a staff that has charge bolt? Maybe some energy as a bonus on it? Maybe. And you can just shop through. You can go out of town, come back into town. If you just do that over and over again, it resets the shop. And you can search for two to charge bolt, three to charge bolt, or plus to fire bolt, whatever you're using. And that'll be really helpful. It's like I could totally buy this right now, but I have this already, so I don't really need it, right? I would look for a two or three to charge bolt upgrade only, pretty much. And we got a ring of energy, which is three to um, energy. So that's also really nice. So like both of these are nice pickups. There's a little extra mana. And right now, extra mana is always fantastic. I'm going to check my shrines. Mana recharge, sure, why not? And then I'll check my dark woods over here as well. And even though this isn't a boss group, this is enough monsters that I'm going to be totally fine killing them. Now, items and things that we, we want to look for. I suppose I should talk a tiny bit about those. Two open socket armor that is gray, not blue mechanics, but a gray two open socket armor. Two open socket helms, two open socket shields, assuming you're not using a staff at the moment. Um, anything with resistances, plus to mana, plus to life, hit recovery. Uh, all of that is going to really be good for this character right now and stuff that I'm going to be looking for. So whenever I find those items, I'm going to be picking them up. The reason is because I want to have that stealth rune word, Tal Eth, later. So that'll be helpful. Also, we're in the Black Marsh, so now I'm going to start looking for the tower and waypoint because we're going to be getting those rune words, right? <laughs> Items you want to look for. Don't say it. Don't say it. No, we're not making white. Also, it's dull IO. Sub only December is panning out really nicely having part two and three of this playthrough. Exclusive on Twitch is really good value emo. That's not... What? No. Everybody on YouTube, don't worry. This is going to be fully available to all. There's no exclusive on platform X or Y. No sub only. You just you just show up and that's all. It's all good. So the runes that we will be looking for, like I say, are Tal F. Additionally, tier runes or Rao runes will be nice for either fire res or mana per kill. And if you are a fire sorceress, then you'll also want one tier, one RAL for a leaf staff to get plus to fire skills. So for instance, there's a two open, or there's a helmet. Only one open socket. I don't really care too much. Now you might see the enhanced defense and durability on this. That's really not that important. Oh, that's a really nice tower. So don't fret too much about like, oh, the defense is high or low. Don't worry too much about that. Defense is pretty meaningless, especially earlier on. As you start to move through the game, especially if you're taking it really slowly and like leveling up with all the areas and being really slow, defense gains a lot more importance. Yeah, that's a fantastic tower. And here's an example of where I run into a lightning enchant. I can either shoot a level one fireball at her or fire bolt at her for a while, or I can just say, forget about it and move forward. And that's what we're gonna do. It's just not worth my time. At that point, I'd rather just kill five random monsters than having to deal with that uh, tower higher leveled lightning enchant archer. So if you run into cold enchant or ex you know something that is just brutal and you can't deal with it, just go past it, right? We're gonna do this again. There's some mana burn archers. Archers overall are gonna be some of the hardest monsters to deal with. My best advice for them is stand back and then start casting like a madman. 
And if you do that, they'll start like walking towards you and they'll walk into a lot of your bolts and that'll be very helpful. Also, these chests right here are super chests. Always pop them if you can. And then if you want to pop any of the, uh, you can kick barrels and things down here if you'd like. But if you want to pop any of the little like grave things, you can do that as well. Those can be um, good for you. So there's generally going to be one boss per level. Sometimes you'll have two, but generally it's going to be one champion or boss group unique. Um, so you can run around the level and try to find them if you want. The levels generally aren't that long, and it's good experience to kill them. Or you can just try and go to the end, which like we know the exit is going to be right here, because it's always left of the way you come in. So this tile, even though you might say I came in this way, we're looking really, at tile I'm enjoying pieces, the stream. Right? Glad to see a resurgence in player count of D2. Thanks, old guy. Keep up the good content. Thank you. So, IO doll, IO doll, right? You can see right here that this is the tile piece. The way the game works is the game takes tile pieces and places them together. So this alone is not a tile piece. It is, if, I'm, if you're looking on my little mini map right here, right, this whole piece is a tile piece. And it might even be like that with that, like, you know, whatever, right? But at the very least, it's this. So we're entering towards the top right. There's a dead end here. And so the entrance is actually going to the top right. And so we want to go left of the way that we've come in. So we want to go to the top left. So it's either go this way or up here there's that. Or it could be like that way. But either way, the exit is the top left. And we know that it's going to be right here because we saw that tile. So again, we're entering to the top right here, which means we want to go to the top left to get out. We have another lightning enchant, which means I have to be kind of careful. And I'm going to try and... Okay, I've pulled the boss away from the rest of her herd. So we're just going to focus on the minions and then move forward. And then level 5 is a set map, so you can just look around for the boss if you want. Um, and then it's always just going to be at the end of this area. So remember, Tal, F, Tyr, Ral are all the ones we want to keep. If you want to keep stuff that can get to it, that also works. For instance, three Elds make a Tyr, three Iths make a Tal, three Nefts make an Eth, three Tals make a Ral. So keeping the ones prior and below it can be good. Also, this chest will only pop the first time that you kill the Countess, not the later times. Hello. The order welcomes you. So we'll just stock up a little bit more on that. And I'll go ahead and check my shrines really quick because I'm looking for an experience or skill shrine. And there we go. We have an experience shrine. And that's just a way to get a little bit more experience. There are a lot of boss groups in the tower. So that's why it's really nice to be able to do that. Right. I can go here and then we've got an archer boss group right here. And I'm checking to see if it's cursed. It's not. It's cold enchanted, which is going to be difficult. And you can see me hurting a lot from it. I'm going to have to be careful. I don't want to kill her while I'm next to her. That might be too much damage. You want to try to avoid getting hit. But, you know, it's going to happen. It is what it is. Finally, the best class of all. The best class of all. Thank you, Hilda Brandy. Thank you so much. So especially with an experience shrine, killing extra things and extra boss groups can be really helpful. So would recommend it. At level nine, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some into strength because I feel like I have enough life that I'm not gonna get put in hit recovery that often. And I want to get up to 25 strength. That is the goal of this character there, get to 25 strength. Um, reason being 
I want to be able to, okay, there's our bus group, wear a belt that has 12 sockets instead of eight. So like right now, you can see I only have an eight socket belt on, it's a sash. The lowest one for 12 socks is going to be a regular just belt, that is the name of it. And uh, yeah, so I would like to get there. See if we can find anything here. Mm, we're just, we'll just go for the next level. It's the weapon of choice. Anything with plus to charge bolt or plus to fire bolt right now, depending if you're fire or lightning. And there we go, we got another boss group there. It is cold enchanted, so I'm gonna take a step back first. And there's a short staff, so whenever, like I said, you see a short staff, pick it up. Also, having that strength will be important for wearing, you know, certain armors or helms. If I find a two open socket hard leather armor, I'll want to have more strength and stuff. So 25 pretty much covers everything. The only thing it won't cover is gonna be like studded leather. So there's a Rao Tal, so that's really nice. Definitely uh, good runes there. And we'll just keep doing this a few more times. Always checking to see if we can get experience shrines. And because I'm not trying for a world record right now, they're always going to show up. I'm continuing with charge bolt and the five more to strength right here. Once you get a little stronger, you can start charging at groups like that. The reason is I'm going to get more hits off when I charge in. Because I have more life, I feel more confident. I can run up to them and kind of start shooting at them. When I don't have very much life at all, I don't want to run up there or I'm going to get stuck. Yeah, stabs are also legit money. That's the other thing. Even if you're not going to use it, a lot of times it can be worth max money. So can things like Skepters or... Um, Wands, anything that's gonna roll plus to skills, mostly besides claws. For some reason, claws are pretty trash generally. But beyond that, those are gonna be good things to pick up. And then later on, rune or uh, armors are generally gonna be pretty good pickups. And then chip topaz can be nice, and I would say pick those up if you would like. Um, the reason being you can shove those into a shield later and they can be really helpful for um, some additional light res if you feel like you need it because beetles in Act 2 can be pretty deadly. That's probably going to be one of the earliest things that will really kill you is lightning enchanted thing. I mean archers and stuff can kill you as well. The sorceress is very um, fragile for sure. Lots of glass cannon here. but. That's going to be one of those that can really hurt you as beetle bolts. So having a two open socket shield with a couple things in there can be helpful. All right, cool. And so we got all of our runes right there in a pretty decent time. And uh, we're very happy about that. Man, that was super nice. So we'll just keep going charge bolt. And then here you can see like, oh, that's worth five grand, right? Beautiful. That ended up not being worth anything. That ended up being worth 4,500. Remember, it's as tall. It's not as tall. So this would be fantastic for anybody starting with fire. For <sighs> me, Fresh I could meat. actually still debate using this because it does have 10 FCR on it. So I'd be switching out one charge bolt, but casting my bolts a little bit faster, right? And if we look at the image, 10 FCR does get me to the to the 12 frames, so it would actually be a bump. So I could debate using that right now if I wanted to. Um, I can also just save it for later if I feel like, but I'm gonna try and look for like some charge bolts. You can, not finding it. I think I'll just save it for now, to be honest. In the event that I want to use it a little bit later, I'll sell some other chip gems I don't care about, and we'll go stash some stuff. And now I've got my 25 strength. I won't be putting any more strength there. Check for any FCR. That is not helpful at all, so we really don't care. 
put our runes, Tal, Eth, and then I want the Ral Ral. The other three runes don't really matter to me. Help me! Ah, uh, yeah, it's llama time. I am even subscribed oh, yeah, okay. so I can watch it. Not... Just kidding, there is no such thing as sub -Sember. Thank you. Shabataloo. Don't forget to stash your gold. Uh, thank you, Crake and Valor. And then here's an example like we can shop, right? So I can go <sighs> to open sockets. No? All right, well, I'll just run outside. Thank you, Wee Lamb. Come back in. And now I've reset the shop. And this is where you can just get all the gear that you want. Here's a belt. So perfect. I can wear that. Here's a two open socket shield. I'll put that on my offhand. There's a two open socket armor. Now I've got my two open socket armor. And now we just need to find the two open socket helmet. And you can either find it while you're running around or you can just grab it right there. And easy as that. Also, tier nef can be good if you want to find those for a cloak of shadows, right? You can make a nadir, which gives you cloak of shadows. That can be helpful later on. Once again, gloves and boots, res, life, um, hit recovery, faster run walk. Those will be very nice. Otherwise, I'm not really wasting the time on them, basically. We'll go like that, stock up on potions, <sighs> and keep going through. Thank you, oh, don't weird. sit. weird. For some reason, Man. I wasn't able to type in chat. Oh, right. My subscription ran out. That's not true. Happy sub December, Mr. Llama. It's not true at all. Thank you, Korean. American BBQ. He was able to chat. Don't worry, everybody. So now that I have my runes, I'm just going to move forward. So, well, that's really nice. You might say, but Mr. Lama, what happens? Yeah, I could also put these gems in my helm to try and get more magic find if I really wanted. Could totally do that. Or put it in my armor right now, right? Like, and just get another two open socket armor later. That is a thousand percent okay. Rubies are also good. So if I find some rubies, I could put those. I could put some uh, sapphires for mana. Like, totally fine. And then later, you're just going to replace them. Easy as that. So I'm saving that experience shrine for later because I already used, I, already, I just got this one. It has a lot of duration on it left. So I'll just come back to it at a later time, no worries. But anyways, I was like I was saying, you could say, Mr. Lame, what happens if I find my runes super early? Thank you, Z-Poxed. Right, first run I find them, I'm only level seven. Run, run a few more towers. You can run the tower all the way up to like 13, 14. I've even gone into like towards 15. You're going to not be getting as ideal experience once you kind of hit 13. But at that point, like, it's okay. The runes are so important. You can keep going there. So, you know, the safer you want to be, it's totally fine. But, yeah, running it up to, like, level 13 is not bad at all. And that used to actually be one of the world record strats uh, way back in the day was getting level 13 there to be stronger moving forward. So... If you want to be 13 or 14 coming out of tower, totally fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and look around for bosses. There's also a lot of bosses in the barracks often, so it can be really nice. And then I'm going to be looking for um, the imbue quest. So that can be nice for either now or later, right? You can kind of make the decision when you want to use it. The way the imbue quest works is it's going to work off your character level when you make the imbue. So if you make the imbue early on, level 12 is the earliest I would ever use it, by the way, because that's when you can get, like, fast run walk boots. Um, I, for one, am shocked you would teach good. newer players the lightning build. Why not a fire base build? Those are so hot right now. Or even a blizzard build, those are always cool. Hashtag subscribe to continue enjoying the magical builds for the rest of December. Awful. No, wait, you don't. Hey, MRL Llama, you are doing a great job. Thank you. Really enjoying the schwas of Subsember. The chat is nice oh and quite God. lately. It's long gone now. It's Help not me. Subsember. This is the only way I can put a message in chat. No, it's not. Sub December is feels bad, man. Don't not sub. So we got a Dota player in our midst. <laughs> um, so yeah, 
level up where you want to level up. But imbue is based off your item or your character level. So the later you use it, the better your imbue is going to get. So a lot of people like to save it for when they're like really high level. You can totally do that. Or you can save it for like when you're 50 or 40 or 30, you know, somewhere around there where you're going to have better chance of getting some decent rolls of stuff. Really up to you. Free the unsub people. They're literally all talking in chat right now. I hope you realize meat. that. Trish Nobody's baby stuck. With a llama. <sighs> oh my Trish gosh. Meat. Stabby and mwah, Lisk with five gifted subs and Hildebrander with the sub as well. <sighs> Fresh meat. Welcome everybody. Hmm. This is a crazy level one, man. <sighs> Fresh meat. Crazy. And fell with as well. Thank you. Liskmas for all. <laughs> Liskmas for all. Merry Liskmas. That's right. Oh, we should do a llama miss. Chris Llama. Chris. Chris Malama. Uh, name needs to be worked on, obviously. Liskmas has a way better ring to it. Hide your kids, hide your wife. It's either sub December or we bring back Pound Squad. She really is pounding dudes with her electric rod. You know, let's just do sub December. <laughs> Join my army of the dead. Man, I had a question, but it won't let me type since I don't have a tier 3 sub feels manka as man. Anyway, what is the best way to farm with my ice maiden mausoleum grail? Ice. Should I just oh, kill God. stuff at P1 or run and pop the chests on P8? Uh, neither. <laughs> Reroll. Re I mean, you probably want to kill stuff. Killing things is going to be better. Like, chests have their use. For the but. first day of llama, Miss Llama gave to me e e e e e one bowl of soup. <laughs> she was not thankful for that one. <laughs> Fresh meat. Just need gear now. Yeah. So yeah, now we're just like leveling Guys, and running through. December by the way, is too obvious. Nothing too we crazy. You boat Yuletide. I'm picking up all charms and things like that. U-boat Yuletide? What? <laughs> what is U-boat Yuletide? And now I'm actually going to go back uh, to town first. Help me. Hey, Twitch chat. There hey. is a reason Muryamas is the YouTube voice. This is a sponsored message from the YouTube gang. <laughs> it's not. So you might say, hey, resistances, just like you said, Mr. Llama. Oops. Um, poison resist, nobody really cares about. If you want seven re res on a small charm, you can keep it. It's just like poison res is pretty meaningless, though. I, I don't really care at all for it. I'd rather just have the gold. Um, six to life. Definitely keeping that. That'll probably go with me all the way through to the end game as well. And then chipped emeralds don't really do a lot for me. So we're just going to knock that puppy out. And then go to Black Marsh. Easy as that. Mr. Campbell, the gifted sub to VN Diablo 2. Why is that not an alert now? I don't, I don't know why they've like removed the alert of the gifted single gifted sub. It always seems to change and, and get weird whenever Twitch like recodes it. So now we have this. We've got some champions, so we can do that to get a little more experience. Ghostly champion is annoying because she hits you for cold damage. But it is what it is. Yeah, the dimmest vision is worn off. Feeling a little better today. There's another boss, so this is the benefit of really having experience shrines is just going in there and getting as many boss dudes as you can. Mm. 
Yeah, like I said, it's not a world record run attempt, so I'm gonna get every experience trying possible. <laughs> That's how it goes. There'd be a skull cap if I didn't already have my two open socket. I would pick that one up. We got our level two. And I'm just keeping on keeping on with charge bolt, right? Like I can totally, there's a waypoint. I can totally uh, add a point to static if I want or telekinesis right now or whatever, but I'm gonna be respecking out of this. So right now charge bolt is what I'm using and then I'll respec out of it later um, and move into Nova and stuff. But there's plenty of ways to kind of build this and play this early game. And if you want to like not use your respecs, then you can just at level 12 shift over into Nova. Um, and then go from there, right? But I like doing the full shift over because then it kind of gets me a faster start. And then I can have Nova and Static pretty quickly together afterwards. Well, set would be good for leveling with Wiz. Um, careful of Conviction Aura, that lowers your resistances. So you can see my res are lower and it is not fun. I mean, what set would be good with Wiz Pike? Is that what you're asking? Use the three piece towels with it, probably. It, it depends what character you're using. Are you a hammered in or are you a sorceress? Oh, you meant like wizard. Uh, Tal's set, obviously later game, but earlier just finding stuff like Hisaurus's can be nice, boot and belt. Oh, that's dead end. Um, you know, Arctic isn't terrible there early on. Sanders can be nice for faster run walk and plus to life. Just that sort of stuff. Join my so you are saying when you brought Kylie soup, she thought it was a dusty fuck up. What? Karen, watch your mouth. <sighs> Fresh meat. My goodness. Help me. Stream now three times as big since I last watched and currently almost top 100. MD2 ga. Wait, did that show the gifted sub over? Oh, that was weird. Okay, I must have got mis messed behind. Don't sum a knot! Thank you for the 678. Tier the 2nd of January is going to be so high. Can't wait for all the exclusive content. When Mr. Llama SC forgot to turn his alerts back on, so you have to wait extra long for your. Troll messages to play feels bad, man. It's I have to talk through stuff. I said that I would be well, pausing. Well, Mama, and this is some shocking gameplay. Thank you. Oh, it's a bad joke. I think it is pretty shocking though. All right, so in Dario, you can just either like man up on her, and having a couple rejuves can be super helpful Psychons for this form fight. Level one through ninety-eight for all classes. Or you can try and kite her around. Also, your fire damage will do really well against her. That's her main attack that you want to worry about when she goes and she releases all those poison balls. That does a lot of damage. Otherwise, it's not too bad. Pick up your loot. Walk out. Bug and Dario, we'll talk about it right now. So bugging and Dario means that you're going to get the quest drops every single time from her drop. So when you kill... A, when you kill Indariel or any boss the first time that has a quest, right? When that happens, you get better drops than every consecutive time, further time, following time that you kill that boss. However, with Indariel, you can actually bug her. So what you do is after you kill her, you don't leave the game. You can pick stuff up. You can talk to people, whatever you want. But you make sure you go talk to Warif and head east prior to save and exiting. Once you've done that, she is now bugged forever in that difficulty. So in normal, she is now bugged forever. Every time I kill her, I will get the drops as if they are quest drops. If you mess it up, 
that's it for that difficulty forever. So you don't want to mess it up. And uh, yeah, just like that, give yourselves the clap. You have now beaten Act 1. And how easy was that? Wow, that was so easy. Join my army of the dead. Profits are looking good for Subsember so far. Higher ups have confirmed it's okay to do. Subuary. <laughs> Subuary. Good lord. So let's talk about some things, because I think this will be a really interesting place to do some stuff, right? So first off, this belt versus my current belt. Four to life, three to mana are the only two mods I really care about on this. Repair durability, who cares? Poison length reduced means nothing. 12 max stamina is a waste of a mod as well. Enhanced defense is local, so the d defense on this belt is five. This is five as well, but I don't really care about that. Why would I pick this one over this one? Because the number of sockets. I care more about the sockets than four to life, three to mana. It's just such a weak belt that there's no real difference in the change. So I don't I don't really care too much about that, right? We'll repair our stuff, we'll look around. Those are really nice gloves. That's a better belt. So we'll grab this belt to get seven fire res. We'll grab these gloves to get 14 fire res. So now we've got some fire res going. Enhanced defense we don't care about. This requires extra strength and doesn't really give us anything. That's just defense and durability as well. We're not caring about those. So we can move past it. Now, I want to sit down and have a chat at this point because we are in Act 2. Oh, I want to sell this wand as well. And we've got some cool, fun, interesting decisions and things that we can make. So remember how I said before that um, I wanted to have, uh, you know, my stealth and, and whatever in my helm. But we can just get those later. In a speedrun, I wouldn't do this. In a non-speedrun, I would do this. And also, I'm going to be shifting out of charged bolt at this time. I'm going to go ahead and max my town portals. By the way, you can sell these and then rebuy them at places that don't have scrolls, and you can max it out that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my potions really quick. And now, I want to have some, I'm gonna be swapping out into Nova, right? I don't swap until I'm at least level 13, by the way. So I'm gonna reset, if I can ever click okay. We'll go up to our 25 strength. I'm actually gonna add a little bit to energy and maybe even a tiny bit more. And then I'm going to put the rest in vitality. Okay. And the reason is because Nova takes a decent amount of energy. And so I want to make sure that I have that. Then I'm going to go seven points into static. Max out Nova. One point into te telekinesis. One point into frozen armor. And one point into frost Nova. Okay. This is the speed run build that we use, which is why I'm running it. It's very good through normal. It's very efficient, whatever. If you're fire, you're just gonna once again be maxing out your fire bolt, then your fire ball as soon as you can get that, just pumping into that. And then you can use your side points to go in Inferno, Blaze, Firewall, so you can get Meteor. And then at 30, you'll get Fire Mastery. If you're going cold, you're just going Ice Bolt into Ice Blast. If you want, you can run Frost Nova, like a lot of points in it, but it's going to not be as good as just Nova itself in terms of damage. But it's not terrible. It's not the worst thing ever, but it is a pretty high mana cost as well, and it is going to be less damage overall. So I don't really like going max Frost Nova super early, um, but I've seen it done before. It's not the worst thing, and it is kind of safe. But a lot of times you just go Ice Blast and then into Glacial Spike. Um, and at this point, you're also not going to really be going cross tree. You never want to be like maxing Ice Blast and maxing Fireball or anything. That's going to slow you down. Look at the synergies, right? Fireball gets bonuses from Fire Bolt. Ice Blast gets synergies from Ice Bolt. So like putting those skills in that progression is going to give you a lot more damage and be better for you. The only cross tree stuff I'm doing is telekinesis, so I can get to teleport eventually. 
Um, Frost Nova for slowing and helping there. Frozen Armor is amazing. We don't care about any other armors. Frozen Armor is the best armor, so just use that. And if you want, you can put a point into Warmth. It's very weak, but some people will put that. So that's the only cross tree stuff that we'll look at right now. Otherwise, this is the build I'm going, and I will just continue to save this point until 18, at which point I will put one point into Teleport and one point into Nova. So that's going to be our build there, and I'm just going to go ahead and set up my hotkeys for this build. So at this point, like I was saying, FCR is going to be important to me. So I'm going to start looking for something with FCR. But I'm going to be looking over here for a wand or a scepter with it. And the reason I'm looking at those is because I don't... I'm, I would love to have a sorceress orb that has it, but there's no way I can shop it. I could try and shop for FCR or something with, you know, like that, but with Tenova as well. So, you know, I can look through that, and I do have the FCR on that one staff. But if I want to play safe, yeah, Scepters can have FCR as well. If I want to just play safe, I can just look for 10 FCR, if I can ever find it, on one of these. And then I can have um, my shield as well, right? So I, I want to do this because I want to use the shield and show off kind of like a little more of a safety play. So this is very bad luck, unfortunately. But we will just shop through and press play. I just wanted to say you look nice today. Llama Aww, hair is you. on point. Oof, there it is, but it's too expensive. 15k. I could get it. But that's a lot. I'm looking for one that's just FCR. Subsember 2, Electric Boogaloo. Help me. Hello chat. I am here to announce that Mr. Llama will be doing Hell HC any percent play. Through of our poison dagger necro during tier the second of January. What? Type exclamation poison dagger in chat for more info. What? Thank that's... you for your patronage. No, that's not a thing. My army of the dead. I was talking to a guy at work today and he also watches you. It's really awesome to know. Oh, that's cool. That somebody else enjoys the same things I do. Also, he wanted to know, do you ever get sick? <laughs> of answering the same questions over and over. Bone, 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 pound, pound, pound. Thank you. Pound MRL Llama hype for sub, but only December profits are on the rise. It's perfect. So yeah, I would pick up either one of these. Obviously, this one's 7K, this one is 4K, and it comes with six fire res, so it's even a little more helpful for us. So now we have that FCR, which remember we talked about, gets us Shablam, the bonus. So now we're at the 9%. So we're at 10%, so we're at the 12 frames, I should say. But uh, now we can do some crazy stuff, right? So I can shove some diamonds or some topaz into my shield to get some resistances. I can shove some sapphires or rubies into my armors and stuff to get some mana. I can shove a, a ruby into my cap to get some life. And now we've just boosted our character in like insane ways actually, even though you might not think it's insane. And we'll just come back and get a new to open socket armor and help. You saw it took us like a minute to get both of these. We'll just do that again afterwards. But like 24 to life brings me from 126 to 150. 20 to mana brings me from 84 to 104. Like these are big differences at these low levels. And they can definitely be big things to do. Would highly recommend it. Um, also, we'll go ahead and do Radiment. Which does give us a bonus skill point. So I'll probably just put the extra skill point into static right now. To just get a little bit of a higher static range. And so we'll just go ahead and do that. Our frozen armor. How did I not know about and aerial bug until 20 years later? <laughs> What else haven't you told us? I've told you guys many times about the Andario bug. 
many times. Oh, you are doing a poison dagger run? No. Fantastic. I just organized a watch party for the... Even I sure hope you don't let those 3,000 orphans down that I invited. I was told that each of them would be given a puppy and a warm winter coat to celebrate the start of the run. About that one. So the reason I'm not really killing all that stuff here is like four burning deads is gonna be pretty weak in terms of experience. I'm definitely looking for larger clusters of monsters or boss groups like this. So the best way to fight these guys is literally like this. Frost Nova, Static, Nova. This is going to be the best way. You'll want to learn that combo, essentially, as soon as you can. You can also just jump right into a Nova if the monsters are kind of weak or if you want to get a hit stun off first and you feel like that's going to be super important. But... This is the safest, best combo for it. Like here, I'll just probably go into a Nova. It's not worth doing the whole combination. Dun, 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 dun. And there. What about hitting them with the staff? Not recommended. But yeah, I've just got so much like so here's another big group, and here's where like just coming in and noving can be really helpful. No first time you have ever told us about the Andy bug, is it because you love the YouTube? <laughs> Casuals more than a Samar Llama cry, MR Llama cry, MR Llama cry, MR Llama cry. Mm -hmm. That must be it. So everything from here on out is gonna be vitality until like our next respect, basically. If you want, you could do a tiny bit more energy, but like I feel pretty good at that amount of energy, especially with my plus to mana from my armor. Um, and then Nova. So those are just gonna be my two things there. And then we'll just keep going forward. So yeah, the reason I'm saying you can just jump into Nova is because if you see, you'll see that I'm putting these guys into hit recovery. So hit recovery works for you and it works for monsters, which is fabulous and a great addition to this game because it kind of creates this like you can get the jump on them or they can get the jump on you sort of scenario so you can see that they're all going into hit recovery every time i'm hitting them and so it's the it's a way to to jump ahead and then for bosses i'm definitely staticking and a normal static takes them down you can go all the way to one hp if you would like so the other really important thing about static to note is that every additional skill point in it only adds radius, but that's really helpful because level one radius is like this much space around you and level seven radius is like this much space around you. So it allows me to still kind of keep a, a group, a, a space on them a little bit. And remember, we're just keeping this for teleport. Yeah, and Static is amazing for bosses. So now that we have that taken care of, let's keep moving. It does kind of stink deluxe. So here's where beetles come into play. And you'll see that even with my resistances, they're going to do some damage to me. But thanks to having 24 light resist, I'm going to also be able to do a lot better against them. And there's lightning enchant boss. I just don't really care to deal with that. So we'll just move forward. But beetles are actually fabulous. It was a cold and actually rainy great. night. Mr. Llama had just finished planning his hell poison dagger. Mm -hmm. Necro run for the orphans when there was a knock on his door. It was the very cute pizza delivery girl. She had rosy red cheeks from the cold when all of a sudden... Wait, what happened? Finish the story! Gosh dang it. Five to dexterity is pretty worthless. So we will leave that alone. And now we're just looking for the exit. But beetles give great experience, which is why they're really good. So we like killing beetles. 
They're worth a lot of experience. We like that. That story got cancelled by Kylie for sure. Can you do a MVS YouTube tutorial? How does that even work? What does that look like? So there's a boss group above me, but leapers are like so annoying to fight that unless I've got them pinned up against the wall, I'm just not really going to deal with those dudes. Like, But I will go ahead and collect large groups of guys and then just run around. And once there's enough of them there, I'll turn and just blast them. Picking up charms, of course. All the good stuff. So we're going to look for the waypoint. And we are going to look for the uh, halls of the dead as well. And then we can just refresh our armor whenever we like. Looks like it's going to be all downstairs. <laughs> Gosh dang. <laughs> So looking forward to the melee barb guide and the endless misses. Gotta love Help AR. Me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that one out. All of a sudden, the Oops. pizza delivery girl took off her worn and tattered Domino's hat, letting <laughs> her long fire red hair gently waft in the warm Texan breeze. Okay, all right. She opened the pizza box, but there was not cheese, no pepperoni, no pizza. In the box was a another two open socket. What was in the box? <sighs> Actually, the worst. You guys are so hyped for the poison dagger run, but what about that sword fire enchant run? <laughs> In January? We actually do have a source fire enchant run. Um, coming up at some point. I don't know when yet, because I had to reschedule it. It was supposed to be Friday, but I had the flu. And Hajalti, once again, if you're out there, hit me up. I did see the D4 news. It was great. You, you think Whirlwind is the way to go, Mr. Camel? I figured I was just going to frenzy and concentrate my whole way through it. I feel like Whirlwind is just bad. <laughs> Soric Fire Enchant Run, please tell me it's also a Beast Bear Mauling Ubers too. Uh, there's no Ubers set yet. Did I not get my flu shot? I didn't. I was... I was busy! Diablo 4 update news stuff was coming out, and I was streaming a lot, and... I don't see anybody! How could I have even gotten the flu? Hey, Sketchire. All I do is sit inside and play video games all day. Interesting, Camel. Oh, nice. All right, so we got Beetle Burst. We definitely want to kill Beetle Burst. And I'm just going to leave a TP at the Halls of the Dead. And this is just so I can run forward, grab a waypoint, and then come backwards. That's all. Simple as that. Do I work from home? Yeah, I work from home for work as well. So literally everything I do is just at home. I don't hang out with anybody. And I mean, it's kind of starting to sound a little sad. I finally learned Main Song's lesson. The lesson is. I'm just a, I'm a busy guy, all right? That's why. It'll be your friend, Llama, if you need one. Thanks. I'm, I'm just a busy guy. Otherwise, I would uh, probably have a million friends that I'd hang out with. So here's where I can make the decision to either go into the Maggot Lair and then come back from the waypoint later and go to the Halls of the Dead, or I can just say, ah, I'll just go look for the waypoint here. So I don't have to deal with like all of that hassle. Can you? How do you disable main menu music? Control I plus M. I notice yours doesn't play when you reset games. Yeah, Control Thanks. plus M. But I'll still just become Beatles and running around and getting levels and experience and all that is good here. Perfect. 
since my last donation was scammed calling the cyber police by the way, the hype is real for the Poison Dagger run and the stats show send sub only December MR Llama's pocket money is up 75. Over quarter four of last year, Mr. Llama Dalla, Mr. Llama Dalla, Mr. Llama Dalla. <laughs> Oh, that's right. So one to six lightning damage does nothing. You might think that adds to my Nova, but it doesn't. This is for a melee attack or a physical attack, I should say. So that does nothing for us. Dexterity does nothing for us as well because we're not caring about dexterity. So that's worthless. But we found an amazing ring. This potentially could be a ring that we take all the way to the end game. Now. Generally, this isn't going to be an end game ring because um, you would want to find something that's like a rare with FCR and life and res and all of those things. But sometimes you don't find that and you just don't get much FCR gear at all. And it's super important to have. So we are very happy that we found this. That is super dope. Friends dance game. If I wanted friends, I would build them as a PowerShell module. Unlike those poor orphans looking forward to right. a poison dagger no. run, they really want a friend. Don't say that. Hopefully that run happens, or else no puppies for them. Bible thump. Don't say no puppies for them. Fresh meat. Yo, Bello, thank you so much with the five gifted subbies. Mwah. And so now we can go back to our teepee that we set. And we can get there. You work from home. You take down the flower picture before getting on a conference call though, right? What? No. Everybody loves the flower picture at my work. What are you talking about? like everybody's favorite picture because it's a beautiful work of art so we'll just go left every single time of the way that we come in in this case it'll actually be left on the screen in that previous level it was uh to the right, but you know, still technically left. So whenever I have that choice, we'll just go this way. And on this one, we're gonna go up left because we're entering up right. If you don't have any friends and don't live with anyone, then who's that behind the bar? No, dumb. That's dumb. Also, at this point, a white large shield I can totally pick up because I'm going to want a three open socket large shield later. So I can either just shop that later or I can pick it up now. And the higher level area I'm in, the less I'm going to be inclined to use that whole like frost nova static whatever first because you can see that I'm mostly just like dominating these monsters right now. So I'm mostly just going for Nova, straight up. Plus five to max damage, does nothing for our character, and we'll just save that for later. Hello. And get more potions, I'm good to go. I know, I don't know what's up with the door. It keeps like slightly opening and it's freaking me out, man. How long am I anticipating the Uber run to take? Yeah, so this Sunday I'm going to do a, a run from zero to Ubers. So level one naked all the way through to Ubers. I'm going to try and not use any additional respects or anything beyond what is given on my character. I'll have to find all the keys. Everything like that will be uh, my character alone. And... And so we'll see how well it goes. If I need some help with like having to clear an area out and I've used my respects or something, I'll use another one. But for the most part, I'm gonna try and do it all straight up. None of that. And 
And uh, so yeah, there will be probably like four to five hours of key farming during it, I would imagine. I'll be doing a paladin. I'm not sure any other character can run an uber mega budget like the paladin can. <laughs> So that's a lightning enchanted boss. I do not want to fight him. So I'm just going to run away. Because lightning enchanted against Nova and Static is not great. I can kill him. But you want to start BT farm keys in under 60 minutes? Not on a speed run though, right? Like with his character, I would imagine. That's still insane though. All right, we got the staff. And now we're just gonna go for more Nova, more Vitality. And we will just move forward into the Lost City. Necro reviving Erdards. I mean, I thought about that, but I don't know how fast they're gonna die and how that would all go and whatever. I think it has potential, but on super uber budget, I'm not sure. Join my army I am a psychic medium and I am feeling some serious dark magumbo jumbo coming from that door. I don't like it. Don't say that. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm expecting that run to take like 13 hours. Does that sound reasonable? I'm not really sure what it's going to take. I imagine it'll take a while though. Have 11 hours Fresh to make it work. <laughs> Yo, complexity dropping the 10 gifted subs. Mwah. Wowzers. Congratulations to the 10 that received it. GG, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. And that's also a good reminder that I'll have a POE guild that I'm going to be setting up soon for 3.9. So anybody who wants to join that, I'll uh, get that info to you guys. Probably after the D2 ladder reset is when I'll set it up. For those who want to play along. Kiwi Guild T3 sub only. No, it's open to everybody. I swear to God. Yeah, I saw Ziz's announcement. We're going to be uh, a part of all that. We're going to be doing that stuff. Going for it. Ten more souls to be sacrificed to Mungus Haunted Door for sub -Sember. Or I mean what? Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> and Complexity gifting a T3 sub to Glowy. Wow. Well, it looks like Glowy is able to join the guild now. Congratulations, Glowy. Just kidding. It's open to everyone. Don't get your panties in a bunch, chat. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Complexity. What does a guild in POE do? Well, you can have a guild stash if you want to share items. Here to lock up my spot but, in the POE guild. You, know, you can guild. also just hang out. Disposable hero locking up his spot in the POE guild. Perfect. I don't know. What's a guild really do in any of these kinds of games? You know, you just kind of like. It's a guild. You have your guild chat. You can talk with them, have fun. It's a way to engage with your friends a little more. And remember, I have a lot of friends. Remember that. It really seems like the D4 team is listening. Dude, doesn't it? That was like the craziest update I've ever seen in my life. 
I was so scared I was gonna check that update and they were gonna be like, we've we've heard your feedback, but we really, really like the idea of ancient. This year brought to you by so, Cheerios. Sorry. Complexities 90 is the coolest person in the chat in my opinion. He is pretty cool. T3 does get the sub only Snapchat. That's right. I wanna go get that grand charm. That such primitive beings could cause so Let's much grab trouble. that. Fanged Helm will be worth some gold, and then we'll get the amulet. All oh, perfect. The update is itemization update, and I would say uh, go check it out. It is dope. I'm going to have a video up on my YouTube about it. So obviously just like selling things. One to mana per kill. I like more than three to energy. Mana per kill is actually really nice. And I actually like it more than six to light res. Especially that I have 12 and 24 here. One to mana per kill is super helpful. Which is why having tier runes. 11 defense is trash by the way. Having tier runes can be really nice. So if I had a spare tier rune. I would put it in this helm right now. Or I would have tiered up these, or you know, you can put tier runes in any of these slots at this point. But like tier tier is really nice because it takes a lot of mana with Nova. But if you're killing a few things with it, you get half that mana back at least, or whatever, and that becomes really helpful. So I would highly recommend doing Andy runs after finishing with my pally. Random white mod dropped me a mal. Nice. Now you need a low. Go make that grief. Good luck. How much do I need to pay to get Snapchat? Ay, ay, ay. Thirty percent. Nah, he's got that forty four hundred coming. All right. So we're just going straight through Harem to the Arcane Sanctuary, and then you're just going to kind of pick a way. There's not really a good way, bad way for this character. I'll grab anything still like a staff because it can be worth a lot of gold. Additionally, eh, it could be something really nice. That's a trash one. And I'll go ahead and make my staff as well here. I'm good, SSB. How you doing? Another experience shrine, because it's not a world record run. I mean, the T3 Snapchat is great and all, but the VIP Snapchat is where it's in. I hear December is naughty Santa month poggers. Hashtag pound squad. <laughs> and with the experience shrine here, I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys. That's right, sick kid. So I'll go one more there. Same sort of deal. And <sighs> go here. I heart cheese. Yum. Cheese is dope, man. I could eat cheese for every meal. Oh, the boss was over there. And so now I'm level 17. And what do we do at level 17? We put... On our stealth. Tal F gives us stealth armor. And we need to just sit and talk about why stealth armor is amazing. 25 faster run walk. Super helpful, actually. A lot of people don't think it. Right? I hear all of the new subs that joined during sub are gifted a special Santa themed. 2020 <laughs> calendar. This cheer brought to you by Cheerios. Not, not a thing. Um, so 25 faster run walk is really good. That'll help you survive, help you get out of tough situations, help you just run around in general, all that stuff. 25 FCR, really nice. That's going to give you, um, 35, 45, which means we are already at that 37 break point right now. And even if you don't have those other pieces, you still hit the 20 break point. So it's still really, really nice. And then 25% faster hit recovery, like we talked about here again as well. Getting to 
brings you down four frames already. And then just a little bit more from something else could take you another five, six frames down. So that is super helpful. This is just like, beautiful and then the dexterity is kind of whatever regenerate mana okay i mean it's all right uh poison res yeah whatever max stamina whatever magic damage reduced it's okay so those other mods are like whatever but the top three mods are what stealth is all about it allows you to hit some breakpoints and get some speed going and that is wonderful so we're super pumped about that now pick a direction and go. Hash Pound Squad is back. Pound dude with stealth. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> this character doesn't even do any pounding. She's a sorceress. A nice pizza with some extra, 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 Cheese. I O doll. Thank you, blah blah. We're just big interaction, just really noving for the most part. If I get in a really tough situation, I'll drop that frost nova stuff like I was talking about before, but at this point, level 17 right around here. I'm generally just not too worried. I'm gonna kill most stuff and have most stuff in hit recovery just with my Novas. So it's mostly just get there and hit them down and then you're good. And of course, because it's not a world record attempt, we're gonna first weigh it. So I can also start picking up armors. This run would have been a really dope attempt. <laughs> Except I didn't have a beetle burst farm, but other than that. Um, yeah, so we got circle, so it goes circle, uh, moon, square, sun, double down triangle, or double down arrow, triangle, circle over moon. From left to right, that is the order. So just use that guide to know which tomb to go to. We have circle, and we also have beetles out here, and beetles out here are, are actually a really good source of experience as well. So, really, beetles anywhere. If you get beetles in your tomb, you can actually just farm your entire tomb before killing Duriel if you'd like. That's totally fine to do. These guys have a little bit of life, so high HP monsters I'm going to be spending a little more time on. For certain, just to kill. And using that static, I should say. We'll just keep looking. At the end of each path await super chests containing what you might ask. Cheese. But not just any cheese. Extra cheese. Right. An extra cheese, an extra cheese, yep. an extra cheese, an extra cheese. Right. Cheesy jerk. Ugh. That's right. So it looks like we don't have beetles down here. There's going to be three boss monster group types in each area. So we got zombie when dudes, the burning Lama dead with happy, the unravelers, and then the big Erdar minion dudes. And hey, look at that. We, we got it. So I don't have any mana. Happy birthday, Llama. It's Everyone my... donate to Llama's birthday fund. It's not my birthday, thank you. Because he has not you. friends. I have some friends, okay? Is Charge Bolt much worse than Nova? I mean, at this point, it definitely is going to have started to fall off. So, three to Lightning, two to Fireball. I'm actually just going to save that for gold later, because three to Lightning is going to be worth a lot of gold. Uh, also, if I was using Fireball, that would be amazing. And this has Blaze on it, and whatever. This doesn't really have anything good. Damage to demons, attack rate, you know, poison damage, lifesteal. All of that is for, like, physical so this is a pretty pointless um and i could have saved that for gold as well i think it'll be worth less gold in the end though and we got seven to all res which is way better than three to mana so that is a really nice uh thing we got there there's some boots that have some magic find i'll use those dear llama the hashtag cheerios crew would like to extend to you a very happiest of birthdays it's not my birthday this message brought to you by Cheerios. Get some honey in your cereal. 
And we'll just get a couple potions and a couple thawing potions here. So the beauty about thawing potions, thank you, Glowy and Disposable and Jake Sensikoki. The beauty about thawing potions is that they're going to give me additional cold resistances, 50 additional cold res, plus max out an additional 10, so I get a max res of 10 more while using it. So it's super nice. And then I'm just gonna come in here, slow Duriel, static, run away. Also make sure you have a safety TP set just in case. And then once he's low enough, you just drop a couple Novas and he's dead. And just like that, in the easiest of ways, you have taken out Lord Duriel. Give yourselves the claps. Give yourselves the claps, good job. Good job. Act two down. Easy. Greetings. At this point, I'm level 17, almost 18. You can be anywhere from like early 17 up to like 20, 21 if you were farming a lot in like the tombs or something. That's totally fine as well. And I'm just going to get rid of all my potions because. I want to move up to the next tier of potions. That's definitely a thing for the sorceress is she's so mana intensive, especially with teleport, that you're always going to be using the highest level potion. Other characters, you can use the lower level mana potions. So like I can still use light mana potions right now on an assassin and stuff. But on a sorceress, I'm going to be going for the expensive stuff because the higher tier is just going to be a lot better for my character. We don't burst until 45. Oh boy. So let's begin Act 3. Join my army of the dead. Wait, we can't talk in chat unless we donate to Mr. Llama's birthday That's, fund. No, not true. Anybody can talk in chat. You're, you see people talking in chat without donating right now. So getting level 18 will be super nice because that's when teleport comes around and of course that's where the sorceress really speeds up a lot. <laughs> Thawing and stamina potion stack kinda like stacking cheese on a pizza. A pizza with extra cheese and extra cheese and extra cheese right. and extra cheese. So we go teleport and Nova on 18. I think Llama has a lot of friends. All those sponsors at Cheerios and the shareholders at Mr. Llama's Synergy Corporation. And Kylie, I think. Maybe. Man Even D2 doesn't want me to play Bozone 6 total hours of mouse farming and I have dropped. 7 white monarchs. Hashtag Dang. let me play how I want Diablo. Good lord. Sounds like you should be a Javison. Before pounding dudes in Act 3, I like to get some honey on my hole with a nice bowl of Cheerios. Hashtag Cheerios crew. Also, if you're cursed, drinking a well will save you from that curse. That was weird. So at this point, I'm going in Act 3, I'm just looking for anything that has an entrance. I right donated here, like my college funds to Mr. Llama in 2015 to talk in chat for the next five years. It runs out in 28 days. And then I'm just looking for the spider cavern. There's going to be three entrances. <laughs> there's going to be three entrances in each area. Sometimes there's four, but it's like a connector piece or whatever. There's three areas, though, like this, okay? And so there's generally three entrances to it. And one has the spider cavern. One has nothing, and one has the whatever lair, arachnid lair, and the waypoint. Okay, so you just want to go in the spider cavern one. You can go in the other one to get some experience if you'd like, but... Yeah. Other than that. You're just going here, and then you're just looking for the chest down at the bottom. We will uh, continue to pick stuff up for gold. Grab the eye. And now our next goal is the flare jungle. Okay, so we did that. We want to go to the flare jungle. We're either going to go through the great marsh and then to the flare jungle, or we'll go to the flare jungle directly from spider forest. It just depends the map layout that we get. That is it. 
So we're just gonna try and look for whatever we can. Meanwhile, get. D3 be like I bet you can't even hit for a thousand billion. There's the great marsh. Rip game mechanics. <laughs> Most people just call that a trillion. So glad I am here for sub only deck. Hashtag happy birthday. Hashtag happy engagement. Engagement? Not engaged. Um, so we have an entrance to the Great Marsh. And we'll see if we get an entrance to the Flitter Jungle at all. It looks like we probably will not. But we'll see what happens here. Okay. So that's not looking great for us from that. I'll just try and teleport across here and we'll just go through the Great Marsh going this way. So that's unfortunate. Also be very careful, one of souls, of course, especially lightning enchanted souls. I am but sure glad I also stocked of up on fire bits for January. It's going to be kind of pricey to only be able to talk with bits. Llama's New Year's resolution sure is greedy monkus. It's not my New Year's resolution. Gosh dang. And the Great Marsh is literally just all about getting to the end of the Great Marsh into the Flare Jungle. That's it. That's all that you should focus on while you're here. Alright, that's a dead end. So, whatever you do, it's nothing else but that. Honestly, there's probably some connection off of that to it. The Cheerios sponsor really changed Llama. He only cares about subs and bits now. Okay, come on. So this is actually a fantastic armor. 17 hit recovery, 1 to strength, whatever, but 8 to life, 18% cold res, and it has some decent defense on it. That's actually a really nice armor. I would give this to a mercenary if I was running a mercenary right now. I'm not running a mercenary, um, so I don't care as much. But, like, I could save it for him if I really want, you know, because I will eventually be grabbing my mercenary. And so maybe, hey, we'll just give that to him later. I can also just sell it. I would wear it, but I have my stealth, and we aren't going to beat stealth. Also, this ring is trash. Uh-oh, Cheerios. Uh-oh. Llama, what is your New Year resolution? Personally, I like 1080. Uh, 600 by 800. So yeah, be careful of these, fi these fire guys, especially when you don't have much fire res. I have 34, so I can kind of fight them. If you have less, if you've got like 20, whatever, it's going to be pretty rough. I feel like my New Year's resolution needs to be something like go outside more or something like that. I don't know. I need to get out of the house a little bit more. I'm going to make sure I have my frozen armor on often because that's going to be a big lifesaver for me. And then I'm doing the same thing where I'm just going in each of those entrances. Right. Each of those entrances. Also, this is really good experience out here, by the way. So, highly recommended to kill as much as you really want or can of these little dudes in the uh, flare jungle. The birds are kind of whatever, but the other stuff is these guys are really good experience. Don't do it. Frozen armor won't protect you outside. <laughs> like, I gotta. Hi YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or ring a bell or something. How does the YouTubes work again? I don't know. Either way, pound something, pound all the buttons, hash pound squad. That's right. Are you a part of the pound squad YouTube? Don't let anyone pound all see the you sparkle when you step into the sun, hash not a vampire. <laughs> That's right. Happy the camel and D2 pilot. So it's sketchy in the blonde, thank you. Oh, this drama. I will add my donation to the birthday fund as well. If you have a birthday party, I would show up. 
Thank you. Unlike your childhood birthdays, wow. Ash Nolan loved the young llama. Join my army. People would have shown up. The Cheerio Corp are so grateful that you decided to seal your engagement with a bowl of our tasty honey flavored holes. Congratulations. Hashtag Cheerios crew. So we're back to Nova and just Vitality, and then I'm just selling everything that I got there. Nothing was worth anything. And then here. Oh crap, did I pop it? No, I did. So make sure you don't go to town too soon if you pop that. This is actually a really important thing. If you pop this fire and go to town immediately, sometimes he just won't spawn and you'll have to reset your game. Blah, 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 YouTube voice, blah, blah, blah. What is Twitch again? <laughs> and then we're gonna go collect our ring from him. And unfortunately, we didn't get a great ring. It is better than what we had because it's one demand per kill and seven light res. The attack rating, max damage, and charge bolt don't matter. But it is a little bit better, but I was really hoping to get an FCR ring there. And there's FCR and a Skepter. So we'll sell that for some gold. And uh, we'll just move forward. So I'm gonna make sure I've got my armor on. I'm also 19, so at this point, if I want to change my helmet out, I can, right? Or I could just put a Rao rune in my helmet as is. Right now, I'd, I'd kind of have to make that decision. I'm gonna kill the minions here, not kill the boss, because he's lightning enchanted. But like, I have 34 light res, so I could either keep going with this ruby to have a little more life, and I'm just gonna kill bosses still, or I could completely change out for a whole new two open socket. And we got a waypoint, so now we're gonna go back and do the flare dungeon. So wherever the jid bin is, is where the flare jungle dungeon is going to be, by the way. Just as a heads up. And you can set a safety TP for yourself also. And again, killing stuff down here, while sometimes a little dangerous, can be really nice. So this can be good experience. So feel free to run around and kill some of these little dudes as leveling up here. It's very important. And it's at this point in this act that you're also going to have to make the decision of do you want to continue um, leveling in act three or do you want to level uh, in a later area? Right. So that decision has to be made in Act 3, and I'll show you guys why in a second. We're going to look at an experience chart. Let me just grab some of the drops here. I am overburdened. And uh, we'll start our path forwards, and then I'll talk about that exactly. So two to Meteor, one to Glacial Spike, two to Lightning. Obviously, it does nothing for me, and three to mana per kill. Nothing for my build, but that is pretty nice. It's got some nice boost like meter and stuff on it. So if you were running fire, that might be okay. But at this point, you would have a leaf staff, which is going to be way better. So it, it's just going to be good gold later on, pretty much, right? Um, but let's open up Diablo 2 experience chart. And let's talk about this. We've talked about it in each of the other videos. I feel like it's only fair to talk about it here as well. Let me window capture. Okay, so this is Diablo 2 and how experience works, okay? Basically, the way experience works is everything within five levels above and below you is 100% experience. And then everything for the next five levels above and below you is getting a diminishing amount of experience. And then anything 10 levels above or below you is worth 5% experience or 2% experience, I believe, on the above, if I'm not actually not mistaken, when I read Dear that. Dear Mr. Lama, are you going to start the timer? 
It feels like you have been playing for almost two hours already without starting it. It started. So if you look right here on this chart, this says here's my character level going down on the y-axis and then going to cross on the x-axis is each act. Normal act one, normal act two, normal act three. So we are here. We're looking in this column right here, right? So you'll see that in act one, level 11, 12, 13, generally you end around like 13, 14, and then you transition to level or act two, where you're gonna go into like 17 or 18, right? You can go to 19 or 20 if you'd like. And then act three, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, right? So this is kind of the like sweet spot for act three normal. Now, something that you're going to notice, of course, is what's going on right here, right? Why is there this weird line at 25? There's a weird thing that they put in Diablo 2 to try and prevent people from getting like rushed and boosted extremely in levels. It didn't fully work because people just did chaos runs later and it you know, they just go through experience there. But basically, at level 25, the cap for things above you goes away. So at level 24, if I kill something that's level 35, I'm getting 5% experience. Like I say, it might even be lower than that. It might be 2%. But probably like 5. So I'm getting 5% experience. If I kill that same monster at level 25, I'm getting max or I'm getting, you know, massive, yeah, I'm actually getting max experience on it, right? So, because the above penalty goes away. So, at level 25, you can kill things higher level and get that full experience. So, it's really good once you hit 25, but until then, it's terrible. And one thing you'll note is that over in Act 4, we aren't going to be in Act 4 for very long. We're not going to get enough experience to get all the way into this, like, 26, 27, 28, generally, to work our way over to 25. So usually we get to 25 and we're like level 22 or something, 23, 24 maybe even. But then it's like, oh crap, I can't get any experience in act five. And so then you have to go back. So act three is probably the best place to really get your experience. The Flare Jungle and then Lower Kuros and Kuros Bazaar, doing the temples and all of those areas. Just doing that stuff is really quick. Additionally, you can also beat the game through at a lower level than 25, kill Bale, and then go do cows until level 25, and then continue from there. Yeah, you could also do chaos runs if you want. Um, they're just a little bit harder, and so that's tough. You can do tombs, but they really start to kind of fall off towards the end. Um, it's it's usually better to, to run around in like Act 3 or something. But yeah, D2, the tombs at the end of Act 2, the jungles and, and temples in Act 3, or if you want like chaos, you can do that when you've got to like level 23 or 24. But if you're level like 20, you don't want to be doing chaos because it's going to be a little too low. So I will post this guide below for everybody. So don't worry. You can click on that and see it. But you want to kind of stick in this sweet spot as you're going through the game. Um, and then, you know, obviously we're going to be out of the sweet spot once we start to get really down here. Because this is saying like, you know, Act 3 of Nightmare being level 50, we're not going to be near that at all. But the beautiful thing is as long as you're below the sweet spot, you're still getting all that crazy amounts of experience, right? So that's the important thing to really like note is that if I'm level 36 in Act 3 Nightmare, I'm still getting crazy amounts of experience because that top cap is now pushed off, right? So you can be under leveled. It's just you don't ever want to be like over leveled. You know, if you're level 51 in Act 5 normal, you're going to be getting very bad experience. So trying to stay within, you know, generally within some of the grouping and the yellow and orange and blues. That's where you want to go. So anyways, with that being said, we will go ahead and uh, do the leveling at the cows because I just know people like watching cows. So always, um, we won't worry about that stuff. But I will go ahead and do the one temple here. 
And if you want to do Serena, who gives you the uh, book, my Medicine's Tomb, to take in, you can go ahead and uh, make sure you find the right temple. And the right temple is always going to be this temple. The one that is facing towards the bottom left. It's called the Ruined Temple. Serena will be in here with the tomb. So we'll get this. Then we'll do the sewers. We'll continue through Act 3. And uh, we'll do that level up later. And look at that. We found ourselves some boots. They are 50 to strength, but they're 30 fast to run walk. You got to make the debate. As a sorceress, I'm probably not going to get the strength for those. As another character, I probably would. But I might still save them because maybe later I'll bump up my strength to 50 in like Nightmare Hell and then I'll use them. Right. Join my army of the dead. The experience table is a matrix with rows and columns, not axes. Had to sub to say this, but it seems necessary. <sighs> I could have just said it in the chat. If you really want it. It worked. <laughs> Alright, it's a matrix. I apologize. The boy cows fear the sorceress because she has a fast cast rate. That is true. <sighs> Fresh meat. Yo, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Ow. PL and Incognito. Also, Dan. And Glory and Hallie. We'll get our stuff. Keep going. I need mana. So we're just going to try and still kill some stuff, get some experience. Because, like I say, out here, there's still pretty good experience for us. And we've got all the pieces, so we're just going to work our way towards the end. I need more mana. And I'll just go ahead and make a sale on that staff. And some firewall doesn't really do a lot for us. Greetings. So, trash, trash, trash. Do that. What is it, Tyrant? Talk to Mashif, get the golden bird, and then we can turn in the Tolman bird for... Uh, some nice stuff. <laughs> keep going on your Nova. Keep going on your Vitality. And this is actually really nice to get the additional like 20 life and stuff. Because that's 10 more Vitality right there. Plus we got 5 more stats. So I mean that's some big life that we just got from all of that. Not enough mana. And then, like I say, looking for bosses when you're like out here can be really nice. So just kind of check this stuff as you're running past it. If you want to get the Travancle just to be safe, go ahead. Or you can just set some safety TPs down, whichever you'd like. And then you're just gonna make the flail. And you can telekinesis the orb. By the way. <sighs> Fresh Fun little tip. You don't Thanks have to walk up Thanks for general and swing it. awesomeness. Hey, thank you so much. Mwah. Pretty, appreciate it, Nettius. And now I'm gonna go ahead and head back and get a mercenary. This is more prepping for the next act. So I'll get a 19. It doesn't matter too much, but I'll go offensive if I can. But really, I'm just looking for the highest level. Level 19 is gonna be really nice. And we can give him an armor. And we can... I really want to get him a pike later. So I'll just get him a pike from Act 4. It's going to be a lot better damage. And we'll come into the triangle. So we're going to go left of the way we came in for this first level. And then we're going to go straight across of the way we came in for the second level. And that's how you find those maps. If you want to get this waypoint, that's going to be to that left. 
right? So I could, you know, come down here and get this waypoint. This is an okay place to farm. In normal, it's still not amazing. I usually wait until Nightmare. Also, if you get this bug where you're not going to be able to click on the waypoint, just go to town and then come back and the bug will clear up and you can click the waypoint. It's annoying. It happens in just a few areas, really. But this is one of those areas. Is there a guide pack on for every map and tiles? Uh, not really. We've looked in, like, the tiles themselves. Also, I healed my mercenary by giving him a health potion. I did that using the shift click. That's really nice. So, you can shift click whatever number and it'll feed him that potion or you can hover it over his portrait and give it to him. One of the two, both will work. Mephisto shall no longer this is a super chest, feel free to pop that. I need mana. And then you can also pop the racks on either side if you would like. So that's a way to help keep your mercenary alive. Help me! Will you do bar playthrough? Some point. <laughs> I gotta figure out how I want to do it. So none of these really matter. Plus dexterity, that doesn't really matter at, a, at all. And at this point, I'm also gonna upgrade to the better potions. I like to keep rejuice, by the way, just for like safety. But I'm gonna upgrade to the better potions because now I don't have to worry. Really, I can like go on continuous teleports which is something I wasn't really able to, to adventure on before. Also, we got some really dope gloves, so that's super nice. Can't find the spider cavern, been looking. Uh, yeah, just keep checking in those entrances. It gets a little tough. The jungles in Act 3 are really difficult. So, 40 to life is really nice. The rest of the mods literally don't matter, but 40 to life is really nice. That's better than 14 to fire res. Also, I have these Rao runes, and since I'm in uh, Act 4, fire damage starts to really get a little spicy. So I'm going to go ahead and toss out my current helm. That's pretty nice at 20 light res, to be honest. Toss out my current helm and uh, get a new to open socket. And we can go Rao, Rao. And now we have 60 to fire res, which is insane. A lot of people underestimate this. They look at this and they're like, oh, it's a dumb six defense cap. Why would that matter, right? Like, what a terrible thing. But 60% fire res is actually super, super nice. Right, now I'm maxed out on my fire res, which means instead of getting like one shot by this terrible fire damage in Act 4. Hey, Real Viper. I did not. Uh, it's going to be way better for us here. And now we can like stand and tank it if we really want. I'm also level 20, so I'm kind of like under leveled slightly for the area as I start moving forward. So this is where I'm going to worry less about killing stuff for experience. And this is because I didn't farm in Act 3. If I had farmed in Act 3, then I'm going to, I would be caring more about it. So now we're going to look for Isual here. There he is. And I want to clear out the rest of these monsters just so my mercenary stays alive. And I have to get my mercenary a pike still as well. That's something I forgot to do. So we'll go back to town after this and we'll get that for him. Wow, bone shield. Probably because we have some MF on our boots. That's what happens when you run a little bit of magic find. So now we actually have even more FCR, which is kind of crazy. This is like so insane that of course on a playthrough we always find these ridiculous things. Um, five to mana per kill. I'm trading out some uh, light res. I don't really care about this that much anymore, especially I still have 26. But if we look we're now at uh, 25 from our stealth, 35, 45 from our shield, 55 Help from me. our weapon, Are and 65 from our ring. Are you because you think Barb is boring for both you and chat? So we actually have the 65 FCR breakpoint. 
Uh, yeah, it'll just take a while, which is crazy. We were not ever going to get that in normal. I never get that in normal, and now we somehow have it in normal. So, okay. So now I'm just going to get my him a weapon. Anything with enhanced damage and max damage and stuff is really nice. Also, maybe if it has a little cold or something. But we're just going to give him that pike, and that'll be really nice. Man, what a find. We have cracked the code when you want to do a GG speed run. Just disguise it as a playthrough guaranteed. Good luck. Pretty much. I might even want a little more energy, honestly, just so I can support all this casting so much. I'm burning out of my mana really quickly. So now we're just going to look for... Oh, yeah, sorry. Don't worry. I was just running around the city of the danged. I, need I didn't find anything. Once again, I'm not really killing anything. I'm just looking. And we did not find it at all. Uh, I need mana. There we go. So. Alright. So now something I should talk about is actually my teleporting style. Right? So why do I open up the inventory or character sheet when I teleport? Do not worry, Mr. Llama. Us here at the Cheerio Corp will not expose the secret of the illegal activity taking place behind the stat breakdown screen. Nothing. Hashtag Cheerios crew. So the important thing to note is when I have my inventory screen up, look at the position of my sorceress on the screen in relation to like the center of the screen. Now look at it. This is the center of the screen. She is now over on this side of the screen. Now look at it. She's over on this side of the screen, right? So where she's at on the screen actually changes depending on if you open your inventory or anything like that. So what happens is, if I teleport like this, I can only go this far. But now if I open my inventory, I can go this far, right? Now obviously I can't right click on my inventory, but if I get my teleport going first, and then I shift it over onto that, now I'm getting the extra distance of that per teleport. So it's a helpful way to teleport further than you normally would. It's five head straps. So we're gonna go ahead and do Hephaesto here. Feed our mercenaries some potions, cast a lot of Novas, and try and not run out of mana. This is where she definitely gets fragile and you have to be super diligent about like getting your hits off before they get their hits off. Also, we found a Demon Hide Sash, which is really nice. So I'm gonna grab the staff, the staff, and the hammer. So that's all really nice. And we'll go to town, grab the stone, put the stone up, and give a little smacky smacky here. And we got a tier rune, so not great. We could drop up to an am rune, I believe, which an am rune would be able to make us a strength for our mercenary or something if we wanted, which could be nice. But tier rune's okay, Demon hide, mana per kill. But I can clearly see him right there. Um, also, this Demon Knight's Ash is really nice because it gives us an additional slot. So it's 20 or 16 slots. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, Thank you. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, Cheerios. Uh, I also have a Perfect Ruby and then some Flawless. So I'll go ahead and save the Perfect Ruby. I could have saved those two and then tried to get like more Flawless Rubies. Because in the future, let's say I have really good Fire Res. I could get a three open socket helm and shove like three rubies in it and get some massive life. You know, it's like plus 100 to life or something. So that's really nice. Dull Io is how you make white, right, white runeward. Two to chain lightning is all that has. That's not really good for us. Two to meteor, 20 FCR. That's nice. You're still going to be better off with leaf. 
But 20 FCR will be something that we would look for in the future. Especially on a sorceress orb of some sort. When items are cracked, damage is just reduced durability. It's not going to affect the affixes. Yeah, it's just going to affect the, like, item stats. And, uh, cool. So now we can go into the Chaos Sanctuary. Now, you can take this as slow or as fast as you want. I always suggest just getting into the Chaos Sanctuary first. Because you can just skip all that stuff. Especially if you already did your level up stuff. There's no point. At this point, you can either clear stuff on the way as you're just walking over. Or you can still skip ahead even further and just jump to each group of things. Remember, you want to pop all the seals. The more you want to jump ahead, the more dangerous it's going to get. Feed your mercenary potions. He's going to be very important for Vizier, by the way, if you're lightning. Otherwise, you're just going to have a terrible time. So that's another reason I would recommend clearing stuff out is... Uh, he can be super helpful and if you like try and rush over there and there's too much stuff like this then he might die and you're not gonna have a fun time because these guys also mana burn you which is terrible so we'll come over here we can throw that down and get the same stuff and remember with your mercenary he's always gonna jump wherever you're jumping right he immediately comes back to you so if he's in a dangerous situation or if you want him to get on top of a dude, yeah, I got a pike for him, then you just need to teleport wherever you go and he'll follow you, right? So we're just gonna clear stuff out still. Try and drop some statics on these guys. I don't have to worry near as much. My mercenary will die to these guys, pretty much guaranteed, unless I gave him fire res for a helmet, which I did not. I kept it for myself. But the nice thing is, because I kept it for myself, I can tank them pretty well. And just like that, chaos is killed, right? Pretty easy. I also have extra points here from Isual, so I can decide what I want to do with them. I like to put them in static. Right now, I could throw like one in warmth if I want, but once again, warmth doesn't really do a lot. So I like going for static still at this point. Just makes the range even wider. And he's gonna get in here. Be careful of his lightning attack. That is half lightning, half physical damage. No fire damage is inside that. So if you don't have low lightning and not good defense or anything, that's gonna hurt you. Get him down pretty low. And then just get a couple cast off. So I started a new sort level 25 but lacking a decent orb. Where would you recommend trying to farm for a relevant orb or Jared's stone? Uh, lacking a decent orb. Um, honestly, you just gotta kind of kill stuff. At level 25, there's not really any great like farm spots. It's not gonna be till Nightmare Mephisto that you're really gonna be farming for a good orb the best thing you can do is get 20 fcr uh wand from nightmare and uh like akara or something and then you've got fcr to start with what do you need? and do the anya quest yeah so eight energy nothing else really on that that's good for us and we've already got 60 fire res and uh these gloves do nothing for us Light radius, gold, dexterity, enhanced defense, attack rating, passive magic. None of that is helpful for us at all. So not great drops there. We did also get a Centurion. Which is, uh, you know, it's got some life and mana. But overall, a pretty weak armor as well. So we'll just do that. And uh, give yourselves a little clap. Congratulations. You just made it through. Act four. How easy was that? My goodness. My goodness, you guys. How easy was that? Best place to find a base for spirit? Sword or shield? My magic Either way, cows is really good for both of them. So you can see here I'm level 20 in Act 5, and what does that mean? It means if I'm killing stuff in Act 5, I'm pretty much gaining no experience whatsoever. So I'm going to kill Shank 
Uh, because Shank is going to be, when I kill Shank, the uh, cost of potions goes to half in, in Act 5. Until then, they're double the price, so it's not worth it. And then, besides Shank... I was told that the barbarians in Act 5 eat a healthy bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios before every battle. They also pray to their goddess Iodal. Sounds about right. After Shank, we're just going to go and not kill anything except freeing the barbs. So there's an experience shrine there. I'm not even going to grab it because it literally doesn't matter to me. I get zero experience right now from killing stuff. So it's just not worth it. We're just going to save the barbs, make sure that they leave. A lot of times they won't open the portal. As soon as they open the portal, they're fine. Until then, you have to sit there and babysit them. Because if you just do that and then go away, they still haven't left, right? They want you to like watch them go home. It's ridiculous. So beyond that, just keep teleporting. And we're going to go to the uh, crystal line passage here. And we want to get this waypoint, right? And you can always set safety TPs, of course. Make sure your armor's up. But we want this waypoint because we're going to come back here to do the Anya quest later. So make sure you get Crystalline Passage or Frozen River, one of the two. And now that potions are a fair price here, we'll just do this. And uh, we'll just go the other way. So you always go left in these passages to find the exit and right to find the waypoint for Crystalline. Glacial Trail a lot of times will have an exit like immediately next to it or um, the waypoint, sorry. So like that's a really convenient exit, but a lot of times you'll have the waypoint like right here. So you can just go there. I need mana. Oops. In this case, we we don't, but we do have the exit right here. I don't really care about finding that waypoint since I have the Crystalline Passage one. I need mana. And we're just teleporting through. Yeah, Norm Cows is the best place for, like, normal, for a spirit weapon. Find a broadsword, crystal sword, or longsword there. Get it socketed, and it's going to be four open sockets. Um, Hell Cows is going to be best for, like... A spirit shield. And now if you want to get the Ancient's Waypoint, that's going to be off to the right of the way you've come in. I don't really feel the need to get it. Ancients aren't that terrible. And so we're just going to go on here. And hope we can get the exit. There we go. We'll stock up on potions and we'll resurrect our mercenary. He's actually pretty helpful in these fights. And also we have these runes now, so because I have this white shield, I can put Ral or Tal in that order in here, and uh, I'll get a Rhyme rune word, which has a ton, or not Rhyme, um, Ancient's Pledge, which has a ton of resistances. Super, super nice. So I'll do that later. Obviously it's level 21 required. So right now it doesn't make sense. But we'll do this, and then fighting the ancients, I like to get on top of Talik, and then have it so like my mercenary and him will get in a fight, and then statics, and then I can stand between these guys and just feed your mercenary potions whenever he starts to get low. Ah, fresh meat. Thank you, Mugio. And easy as that. Congratulations. Ancients be gone. Go Nova. We'll go there. I could make that Ancients Pledge right now if I want. But it is 34 strength. And I don't have that strength yet. So I'll need to make sure that I work up to 34 strength as I'm going. Now at this point, you can either get the waypoint if you want to farm it or not get the waypoint. I would suggest just getting the waypoint just to be safe. Right, And if you decide that you do come back and you want to farm this area, hey, you got yourself a waypoint now, so you're good to go. Right, So if you find the exit, just come on back. 
and go find the waypoint. Thank you, Vladis, as well. Appreciate that. So we have the waypoint in case something bad happens in the throne room or, you know, like I say, we, we decide we want to farm and get levels there. Because bail runs are a very classic way to just get yourself some levels. Also at this point, you can start putting skill points here and then start getting Blizzard immediately off. We got really lucky in that there was nothing. Nothing there. Um, that was empty throne room. Fantastic. But uh, you could start just putting points one, one, one straight and just start getting Blizzard and using Blizzard in the throne room. It actually is still really good even without like having all the your points and synergies. It's just such a strong skill. So you can do that or you can just keep running high Nova. Um, it works out as well. I mean, you can see right here that we're doing just fine. Wave three is going to be tough, especially when we're super poisoned. So make sure to heal off any like super poison like that. Refresh your potions. And then with wave three, I'm actually not going to kill everything here. I can kill some of these guys if I want. But the boss is actually really annoying. So what I like to do is I like to just get him here and just get him on a drag chain. All right, thank you, Canuck. So you just do this. You just kind of keep your distance on him, make sure he's following you. And he's outside. And perfect, you can go back in and you can not have to kill him. If you want, you can kill him. You can just keep staticking him or you get your mercenary and he'll come in and hopefully not die. But he just kind of takes a little bit of time. So that's up to you. Wave 4 is not too bad, so you can kill them pretty quickly. And you can see I'm really not getting any experience Public just service about announcement. This. Right. If you eat a bowl of Cheerios before you battle demons, you will be poisoned less. That's true. Also, praying to IO doll will help hashtag Cheerios crew. That's true. And then same with this wave. I'm just going to make sure that I've got the boss on that chain that he sees me and he's following me. All of his minions will come with him and then I can go back in here. Now, I can fight those guys. It'll just, once again, take a little bit of time, but static is very strong. So that's the easy, you know, that's the easier way, but feel free to do whatever you want. And then bail fight. Static him down to his jimmies. I don't think Bale did a single attack on us. It's the easiest bail fight of my With life. With the power of Cheerios, you can turn your Demon Slayer into a serial there killer. There you go. <laughs> Give yourselves a clapper. As just like that, Bale is no mas. How easy was that, my dudes? Bale just stood there. It was great. So we have some some cool items here to identify. So obviously we'll sell the ones we don't really care about. Those are pretty nice. 22 to light res is decent. Light res can be very helpful. I'm going to hold those gloves for later in my stash. Um, I do have the 40 to life ones, but 22 light res could be better. This is also a nice helm, 10 hit recovery, 25 light res. If I didn't have 60 fire res, I would I would keep that, but mine is definitely better. And then what's the ring gonna be, FCR? Oh, it is 27 to life though, which is better than what that is right there. But it's required level 43. I'll probably find something better than it, but we'll hold on to it. So this is where you can, you know, you just got to be making those decisions as you're playing along for like, what do I hold on to? What do I get rid of? Whatever, right? Um, so we'll take our large shield. You can also just shop for a large, for a three open socket shield, by the way. Large shield or kite shield, but kite shield's 47 strength. Um, you can just shop for a three open socket shield if you don't want to waste your socket quest. I don't care. So I'm just going to socket it with that. It's a straight, easy three open sockets. But like I say, you can just go here. 
It is an honor to serve you. And there you go. So I just wasted my socket quest, right? But whatever, like, I don't mind that much because uh, I'm not gonna be fully coming back, right? I'm just gonna play this character through once. But if you're wanting to play this character longer than that and have more fun with it and do more stuff, save that socket quest for a rare and then just come shop your three open socket right here. You might take a few times. So you just, you know, go out and then come back into town over and over again. Ugh, that was disappointing. But, Ral, Ort, Tal, and we have an Ancient's Pledge with 43 Cold Res, 48 Light Res, 48 Fire Res, 48 Poison Res, 10% damage taken goes to mana. An amazing shield that will help us tremendously. So at this point, we need to do some leveling, right? Because, hey, we're only level 21. We can't go into Nightmare at 21. And, like, you actually don't want to go to Nightmare at 21 because you're not going to be able to buy big potions. If you go there below 20, level 26, you can only buy reg or minor mana and health potions. So it's pretty dead. So we'll go back here. And uh, we'll sell this puppy. And I guess I want to sell that for more gold. So let's go here, trash that, take that guy out, and let's grab our tome. Okay, and just like that, we open the secret cow level. And like I say, this is a great place to get to 25. Additionally, the secret cow level is a really good place for, like I said, finding that base. Any crystal sword broadsword or long sword found in this area will automatically get four open sockets at larzak okay so if you're playing pluggy mod if you have adjusted your runes.txt to enable ladder only rune words or you're playing on ladder okay one of those three things you can make a spirit sword it is amazing if you're in vanilla the level is a good place or non letter for your cheerios hash non sponsor hash sub -sember. oh my god if you're in one of those two, you cannot make spirit. It's ladder only runeward. All right, so that's just a heads up. So we can just come here and, you know, I'll grab some stuff that I think is going to be worth some gold. Also a good place to get a four open socket pole axe. So there's a crystal sword, right? So if I was on ladder or pluggy or whatever, I would grab that and then I would use my socket quest that I didn't waste to socket that and I would make a spirit sword. Also, do not kill the king. If you see the king, first off, he's going to be lightning enchanted anyways, I believe, so you're not going to be able to kill him, but in the event that you somehow try with a mercenary or something, don't kill him. You cannot make it again. You get one try at it. That's all. So just pick up things. There's lots of stuff worth gold. There's lots of jewelry and charms and gems that drop down here. So plenty of really good gold will drop. Also be careful teleporting. It's very easy to just teleport right into a pack of cows. And then you're dead. I need mana. Easy as that. I'm gonna do nightmare and hell tonight. Uh, tomorrow I think I'll do nightmare and hell. Both. I think that's the current plan is to do both nightmare and hell tomorrow. What up, Slimo? Leaving so soon? Uh, so I have a, a big day at work tomorrow, essentially. By the way, this is where the Cow King is going to be. At this corner. Right? So somewhere at this corner, there's going to be the Cow King. I don't see him yet. Oh. And, okay, there he is. He's in the middle. So we do not want to fight Cow King. Like I say, he's immune to lightning anyways. But he is dangerous as well. I need more mana potions, so we'll go get some more mana potions. 
But we'll level up and stuff tonight, so there's still plenty of, like, this stuff going, right? I'm gonna save this Jared stone. I could sell it for 12k, but this could be a great imbue to try and get something really nice. 19 to mana, damage reduced by 1, is really solid. That could almost be worth more than this, but I like the 1 to mana per kill. 6 MF is also not bad. If you have nothing, you could use that just to try and get a little magic find. Um, 3 attack rating, 1 dex means nothing. Fireball and that mean nothing as well, but they are good gold. The crew here at Cheerios Corp has decided to sponsor your day tomorrow. Feel free to do nightmare tonight. Hashtag Cheerios crew. Thanks, Cheerios crew. And we'll just keep pumping our Nova and uh, our Vitality right now. And like I say, I could go a tiny bit more energy. I like usually being around 50 energy. So... I'm a little bit under where I normally like to be. Kill some more moose. Chests are also, there's a ton of chests in here. So, highly recommended to pop some chests. And then here. And so we're just leveling to 25. That's it. As soon as we get 25, we'll be good. So it we'll, usually takes around two cow runs. Sometimes it'll take a third cow run. But usually you can get there in two. And we'll just pick up all the fast orbs and stuff. There's a boss, so we'll kill him. What does guided playthrough mean? It means I'm guiding you through the game. Do you not feel guided? How is the cow's rest to be found? Probably data mining. Remember, the single player file, because this game has single player, the files exist like for everyone on their computer. So people can just find all that stuff in there. And that's a big reason why they don't want Diablo 4 to have an offline mode, because then the files are on your computer, so you can mine it and whatever. Do you ever save three rings to cube an ammy or save three ammies to cube a ring? Um, not often, but you can. So yeah, there's a lot of weird crafting recipes in this game. And one would be saving three amis to cube a ring or three, three rings to cube an ammy to try and get more FCR pieces. So three to minimum damage, does nothing, does nothing. 20 FCR, so there you go, right? Now we've got ourselves 20 FCR. Is this actually better right now? No. Okay. This is not actually better because this doesn't increase our FCR since we're using this shield. However, we want to eventually use Starting December our, 6th is uh, long only other December. shield, right? You can only watch Llama. So... Participate in chat if you are actively playing Diablo 2 while Mr. Llama plays. Hope you can keep up. Fire if you damage fall behind help. two acts, that you are help. booted from the stream. <laughs> that would be brutal. So yeah, we eventually want to get rid of this shield to use our shield that has a bunch of resistances. So 20, 45, 55. We're going to be 10 short, right? So we need another FCR piece somewhere to remove this shield. So that is going to be better for us to have that FCR. Eventually. So it's, it is an upgrade. 
And let's go here. We need to go back and get another cow leg. Yeah, I did the D4 update review um, at the start. It'll be on my YouTube exclamation mark YouTube. You can go over there and check it out. That'll be up uh, as soon as I finish this. So as soon as I log off for the night, I'll go over there and I'll highlight it and upload it. it should be up in like 30, 40 minutes after my stream is over. Something like that. Ooh, we got a boss in there, so we'll use some static. Some nice experience there. He is cold enchanted. Grab the mana potions. Will there be big fixed items like Shaco and no? Nah. So I'm 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 showing how to like do it on a budget, and then I'm explaining everything along the way of like here's a good place that you could farm a Shaco or an Oculus or a whatever, right? Dear YouTube viewers, if you would like to participate in the stream, please purchase a box of Cheerios to receive the key to the live stream. Hashtag Cheerios crew. I really need to get myself a Tyrius sponsorship, huh? That's what I'm learning. Bring back Ajax. I think Ajax is there. There's another Jared stone, so another item we can try to imbue. So with those imbues, I'm really looking for... Um, Getting some really like juicy plus to source skills, 20 FCR, something like that. That's the really big money shot items right there that I'm going for. No. No. Now, when I'm starting to find things like flawed tope, flawless topaz and stuff, is when I'm gonna say definitely start keeping those um, because this can be super helpful for later. Especially if you want to like magic find a little bit, which I'm sure a lot of you guys will, especially with the sorceress. Do that. Hello. Ooh. So we can save that for another MBO if we want. It also has plus to blizzard on it. This is a nice jewel. So this is one of those things where you might say, why would you ever keep a jewel like this? But let's say that like, I have a really cool orb and I want 12 more cold res. That would really help me out. I can put it in an orb, right? And so now I'm getting cold res in an orb where nothing else is gonna give it to me. Sell that. And I already have the one. So yeah, we, we can go in and keep it, why not? So that's where you might consider um, having that. And then we'll just drop this. But I can keep this because I can just look for a gem shrine. And once again, if I do stony field, I can do gem shrine farming. It takes like a couple minutes per gem shrine usually. And I can upgrade it to a perfect. And then I get really good MF, 24 MF. And I can put that into a three open socket helmet. I can have three of those or four open socket armor, four of those. And all of a sudden I have like 150, 60 magic find just from having some magic find in a couple of items like that. So it's really helpful. I killed the cow king. I can't kill the cow king. I'm lightning. Not enough mana. I killed a different boss. So yeah. Finding a second FCR piece would be really nice 
for our jewelry. That's gonna be one of my biggest like hopes. We're just picking up charms, jewelry, and things worth money. That is the list of stuff. Not enough mana. <laughs> nice Nick. Nice Nick. Uh, have I read the system sign? Yeah, I did. It will be up on my YouTube soon. That is my skill tree. Dear viewers, if you would like to hear what Mr. Llama has been saying all stream, you will need to join with a subscription to his Twitch channel. Subsember is in full effect as of December 1st. That's not true. <laughs> Don't say it, Glowy. Uh, no, it's per difficulty. So if you kill the Gao King in normal, you just can't enter it again in normal. I need mana. Chris. I am overburdened. So I'm, it looks like I'm gonna probably end up being a tiny bit short on experience here. So with that being the case, we can just go to like act three and kill a couple things if we need. Every sever donation a troll. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I need mine. It's been like that for years now, so I don't know any different. Except when I go over to Miss Kylie's channel and people are like, You're so sweet and nice and I just love your stream. You're such a great person. I need mana. I'm like, why didn't they say jerk at the end? Forgot, they forgot the kappa or the jerk or the don't forget to subscribe for sub only December or whatever. <laughs> don't you sub December confirmed in here. Chain lightning, frost nova, good gold. Really, I'm not going to be keeping like any of those things. That's trash. But there we go. We got some strength and five to strength is actually a lot. That is a lot right there. That's another 10 life and six cold res. That's a super GG charm. Very happy about that. And so you can see we're a little short of 25. So like I said, we will just go ahead and, uh, and we can add that strength in as well. So now we can use the shield when we want to. We don't want to yet. We don't want to use it yet. So we can come here, we can go into the sewers and kill this boss mana. group. Not enough mana. Get some experience doing this. <sighs> Fresh meat. Thank you, appreciate it, sketchy boy. And then we can come into here. that grab a war scepter grab some mana I need kill some more dudes go in the other temple find a boss group here there we go can go to the Travancore. Just go groups of stuff out here. And then there's bosses in each of these as well. So this is like great places to just generally farm around here. There's also beetles in here, so those can be a nice experience. And we got a double boss group, so even better. One is Archer, though. Okay. And then next set. <sighs> Fresh meat. 
Yo, let's get your boy. And there we go. Just like that. Level 25. So at this point, level 25, we've now gone through and done this thing, right? Where we've broken the line. So now things in Act 5 will actually start to give us experience. Which is really nice. I've gotten great gold. We're up to 150,000, so that's really nice. And we can just keep pumping Nova and uh, keep pumping that. So at this point, I can I can go ahead and do Anya, right? That'll be a good thing to do at this point. Don't really feel like attacking the champion knight dudes. I can kill boss groups here if I want, or I can just go to the end. Really up to me. Generally, I'm just going to the end here. Careful of these guys, they are mana burn and terrible. Here at Cheerios Corp, we are against all forms of trolling. Please consume Cheerios for breakfast to increase defense to trolling for your entire day. That's right. Brought to you by hashtag Cheerios Crew. And just like that, you got yourself. 10% more all res, and that'll stick with you permanently. So saving Anya is like one of the best things that you can do. Super, super nice. And for further level up at this point, Fresh I can kind of go and do what I want. I'm going to go ahead and just do another bail run. Because bail runs are nice, and a good way to get some experience. And you can either do these. Oh boy, that's a lot of balls. Careful of those harpy balls, they actually do a lot of physical damage. Or you can, uh, you know, keep farming kind of like other areas, more chaos if you want, whatever. You can move forward to Nightmare um, with a full set of potions, right? Because remember, you would need to have the potions going in, otherwise to level 26 is not good. But really, at this point, you can kind of level up to your heart's content. So in the past, we've done leveling to like 31 here. We eventually started doing the uh, Countess. But like, Bail Runs are totally a fine place to level. Especially if you do did that strategy I was talking about where you've started getting into Blizzard, right? So like level 20, or 21, 22, 23, and then at 24, 25, 26, 27, 20, you just start putting in Blizzard. That can be really helpful. You can just static and blizzard and then use Nova to clean them off. And uh, that can be a pretty good strategy here as well. Would I use my MBs at like 60 on a circlet? I'll probably use them before 60, but I'm definitely going to wait a tiny bit. Because I wanted to make sure I could get the good stats, you know. It's a lot of dudes. At this point, we can kind of kill or drag on him. So we'll just drag him because he's just kind of annoying to deal with. Not worth it. Is Blizzard the target endgame skill? It can be. Howling and Uber Tristram? Is it even possible? Is there a high enough level for it? Uh, I feel like not. You could also do Eldritch runs if you want. Right, like I say, there's a lot of ways to kind of get your experience at this point. A lot of people just like to do the bail runs. They're just a simple, easy way. Right. And they give decent experience. I would definitely not recommend increasing the player count, at least initially. Um, you can do that 
more later if you would like. But you can do it on like bail, right? So players count. When I do this, it increases the difficulty of monsters. So now they have more HP, they have more uh, damage, they also give more experience, and they drop more items, right? So it's pretty nice because with the sorceress with static, that doesn't really get affected. So while he'll deal more damage to me, his HP total doesn't really matter that much. So this can be a great way to get more items out of Bale, right? More experience. So I could do that on player seven if I want, and it would be the same sort of thing, right? And I would get a lot of experience from him. So a sorceress kind of has like those quote unquote hacks. It's not allowed in speedruns, but you know, we're not speedrunning right now. This is just a guided playthrough. Feel free to use that or not use that as much or as little as you would like. That's all I can say. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. But Sorceress is definitely the character that can take advantage of it the most because she has static. And static makes the world go round, basically. Just make sure that you change it back to players one because it does persist through games. So make sure that you change it back to players one. Also, you have to do it before you go in the throne room or before whatever it is spawns for that to happen. So Player's X affects what's called no drop. So basically, monsters have a chance to drop an item called no drop, basically. And when that happens, they don't drop an item. So at Player's 1, there's going to be a lot higher chance of that. At Player's 8, things are dropping stuff left and right, you know. And bosses are basically never, ever dropping a no drop. So they're always going to drop their max items. I think Barb can utilize it just as much item find op. Item find op for sure. But... Not in the, like, experience gaining way. Also, these lightning bolts will be dangerous and deadly to you, just as a heads up. So, Bartok, once again, we can either kill him or just drag him. He's not quite worth all the experience. But here, like, let's say we want to go to player 7, right? This might be a little brutal, but we have static. But watch my experience bar as these characters, or as these monsters die. So I'm really gonna have to static him down low. But. I get massive experience whenever they die. And now we'll go to like players three for this next wave because trying to kill them is really brutal on a higher player count. If you have Blizzard, by the way, it's definitely easier to kill them on that higher player count, Static and Blizzard. Wasn't one fifth the level. We also leveled up. We got like almost half a level from that group. Look at that experience. How's that? How's that taste? That's only on players three. being real annoying right now. Didn't drag him far enough. Now it's worth about an entire level <coughs> just for that wave. So now we'll go like player seven bail.
I was experienced shared in a party. Uh, it's split out among everybody within a certain region. And I got about two thirds of a level just from My that. My brother and I ran Norm with a Sork and Assassin in exactly three hours on his back. Good. Timing. Love your videos. Yeah, I sure. watch mostly on YouTube. Well, hello. Welcome over. Happy to have you. Thank you, Chris. Hello. So we actually got some cool stuff there. So that's nothing, obviously. That's nothing, and that's nothing. But we got Kite Shield. Steel Clash. So it's actually not a bad Paladin Shield, right? You got decent block chance, 15 all res, 1 to paladin skills. It's really not bad. Doesn't do anything for us, but if I was a paladin, you know, obviously I'd sacrifice a little bit of resistance, not having my agent's pledge or four diamonds or whatever. But, uh, it would still be nice. Beating Bale with Blaze Orb right now? Sick. Have I explained why I choose odd player numbers? Oh, right. So odd player numbers increase the item drops. Even player numbers are just harder difficulty and experience. Odd is both of those. Just as a heads up. So at this point, you can really level as much or as little as you would like. Like I say, if you want to go to level 40 here, you totally can, right? A lot of people don't leave normal until level like 45. That, that's a, like online, a lot of people go to like 44, 45, 42, whatever. So you can totally do that. And if you just want to increase your, you know. All right, we'll go to player seven for this wave and get more experience. Static them down. And now wave one is suddenly worth okay amounts of experience instead of usually being worth nothing, right? So feel free to play around with that stuff, adjust that stuff. Try and squeeze as much experience as you can out of each wave. You've gone all the way to 50 before on Norm Bale? Well, there you go. I've never gone that far. Drag you away. Twenty-nine. For sure, Rick. If they do come out with a remaster ever, these guides will hopefully be very helpful. <laughs> I mean, it'll be a little bit different because it won't be exactly the same. So maybe they still won't be, but there's a lot of people who still haven't played through this game fully. I think they're very helpful anyways for. And now we can go to player's eight bail to try and just squeeze as much experience out of him as we can. So at the very least, at 30, get lightning mastery, by the way. At the very least, I would say um, get to like level 31. 30, 31, somewhere around there. I think that's the minimum that you should really spend farming here. Unless you were going to do that, like, Nightmare Tower farm. Decent. 
Just because then you can do that respec into Frozen Orb or whatever it is when you get over there. So it's not great, but it could be good for a mercenary because it's got 5% lifesteal. It's also got some attack rating and damage to undead. It's got decent defense. So this is a great mercenary helm. Yeah, with the life leech on it. This is also a decent belt. I'm not going to run 60 strength right now, though, so I'm going to sell it. Two to lightning skills, 35 to life. Oh my gosh. But it's acquired level 51, so it's trash. Otherwise, that could have been super nice. Getting a lot of like plus to lightning skills right now could be super good. Shame we never use a mercenary. Yeah, I just move too fast for him, kind of. All right, so now we're going to switch over to our 40 to life gloves. I could also switch to our 22 to light res if I wanted. Um, and then I'll also swap to my demon hide sash. I'll lose a little bit of resistance, but I gain the fourth or that 16th, right? Those slots. And that's just worth a lot to me. And, uh, yeah. Also, at this point, I'll go talk to Anya. You want to wait till at least level 30 to talk to her. To get an orb and pray. Ah, pray that you get a really nice orb. Unfortunately, we did not. So, no FCR, no plus to source skills on it. You know, it's got cold res, energy, and life, which are nice. But everything else is pretty disappointing. If you want to farm Pindle, you can also farm Pindle. He's totally fine to farm. He's He's got a little bit of experience, so he's not bad. You can do, like I said, um, Eldritch. So a lot of people will just farm like this. And that's a totally fine way to farm. You can do shank, but really it's more worth it to just kill Eldritch than to move. Continue through. So that's all up to you, however much or as little as you want to go there. But you can you can definitely get some good experience. Eldritch is one of my favorite people to farm because he has a double item drop. So he's got good gold. He's very easy. He's right next to the waypoint. There's just so many benefits farming him. So I really, I really like that. Even bacon potatoes for six hours? Ooh, baby, that sounds great. Not enough How much is going to change on Battle.net? I would just probably do the same things. Except I would get a spirit sword on Battle.net, assuming I was on ladder. Yeah, I'm player's one right now. That's fine. It's really the last two waves that give the good experience, so that's when I'm going to be changing it up. How do I keep the Anya red portal open, please? Just don't get the waypoint. If you get the waypoint in the halls of the Vought or whatever, then you're not going to be able to... It closes the red portal. So at this point, I'm strong enough that I can probably just kill him. I'll also go up to players 8. Yeah, you can kill Nilithak, but don't take the waypoint. That'll be your downfall. I just wanted to thank you for everything you do, Llama. So much great content. Thank you. And if you were to die in a freak gasoline fight accident, we'd all miss you greatly. 
Cheer 100. Appreciate that. Never know. Anybody can die in a freak gasoline accident. That was worth over a level killing those guys on players eight. Good old Zoolander, one of my favorite movies. For sure. Beautiful. I can't carry anymore. And let's see what these boots are. Ah, just not great boots. I still like my 13 MF. This does have seven cold res, but that's all it has. So. Yep, when you fight them at player's eight, you can get that. That is the, the benefit of the player's eight if you want to, like, speed up your leveling a little bit. And do that. So at this point, I'm level 33. Um, that is more than enough for me going forward. This character is over-leveled uh, from my usual. So I'm more than happy to, to head forward with it. But let's review the character a little bit and some of the goals and things and, and what we're going to be doing tomorrow further with it, right? So first off, we are at the 34 strength breakpoint. Or just 34 strength so that we can wear our shield right here. I have 43 to energy. I'd probably like to have 45 to 50 energy. Um, and maybe even a little bit more in the future. Thank you, Renning, for converting that Twitch sub. Everything else is vitality. Uh, Skills-wise, I went the pure Nova. So I'm, you know, 10 in static. And you'll have to see how I got to the 10 in static. Start at 7, then go to 8 with Radiment. And then we added the two more from Isual. Uh, the rest into Nova, and then when we hit 30, we started pumping Light Mastery after Nova got maxed. One in Teleport and Telekinesis, of course. One in Frost Nova, Frozen Armor, nothing in the Fire Tree. I could also have stopped Nova at level 10, 11, something like that, or taken these additional points, the two visuals and the Radiment, and used them 1, 2, 3, and then at level 24, started pumping into Blizzard and used that for my farming as well, right? That is the secondary option. And the third option is just that pure fire build where I'm just running Firebolt into Fireball into Meteor, the one, two, three from the skills that I gained going over there. Um, and that's just easy enough, right? So you can just go straight down that list and then your fire mastery once you get all of that going. So you can keep running fire if you are running fire, right? Kind of up to you. Make your decision. Uh, what I'm going to be doing next is going... My goals are to get that FCR ring or ammy. I need one more FCR piece because if I can get that, I can drop this shield and I can put on my Ancient's Pledge, which will do wonders for my resistances. Otherwise, my resistances are going to kind of suffer in Nightmare a little bit. And uh, so I want to be switching over into higher resist. Remember, this is very important for this character overall. Um, I can keep this, though, as a potential to hit that 105. Because let's say I have 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95. You know, if I get Mage Fist or Trang's Gloves... Or some FCR on a, on a circlet or something, you know, like that can get us to that 105 breakpoint, which is really, really nice. But the 63 is more than enough. So right now I have 20, 30, 40, 45, 55, and then 65, 75. But I'd rather have 10 here or 10 here and use this shield. So that's going to be a goal of ours. Um, I want a better orb. This obviously is the temporary because it's 20 FCR. I'd love to get something that's like 2 to Source and 20 FCR or 2 to Cold Skills and 20 FCR, something like that. Um, so I'd love to do one of those things. Um, 
I can, yeah, I'll, I'll be imbuing those later on when I'm a little bit higher level um, to try and, and get a better orb there. And then also Anya and Nightmare, we'll try again because Anya and Normal didn't do us very well. Our boots are magic fine. We haven't found better boots really. And Nightmare, I can shop some boots that are like faster run walk and resistances. So that might be something I do. Our gloves are nice, 20 to life. I also have a 22 to light res glove here. And I also can shop at Nightmare, Charcy, and, and Jeed um, some resistance gear as well there. Our cap will probably hold on for a while just because it gives us some good fire res. And uh, yeah, that is what we're using. We don't have a lot really coming up the, the, the tracks here in terms of other stuff, but it is what it is. We've got a couple charms, not really anything too great. This is nice. Five to strength is pretty good for us. Uh, and then, you know, six to life. So they are okay, but uh, nothing crazy GG so far. I would say it's drop. That's probably really nice. And then that was obviously decent for the time being. Uh, nothing on swap. That's trash. So, uh, yeah. All in all, pretty successful. About three hours to get through all of normal, plus do the leveling on it. So that was a nice, easy playthrough. I hope that you learned some stuff. I hope you get your characters here. And then I will be um, bumping it, pumping it, rumping it. Well, that's weird. Um, we'll be going through Nightmare and then Hell tomorrow. So Nightmare in Hell will be tomorrow. Get ready for it. Uh, that, that'll be exciting. We'll do a lot of fun stuff there. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you, YouTube. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.